through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Hallelujah. We have Bible, some Bible passages, but we may not be able to read them because of time. I'm just doing a brief summary. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 51, 20-23, 2 Corinthians 10, 3-5, Ephesians 6, 10-18. Knowing the right weapon to use to fight is what determined your early arrival to victory. As a Christian, we have the most sophisticated weapons available to us. You must know the weapons which God has made available to you and use them for all the battles which you are fighting. There are weapons God has made available. So it is now your duty to know what kind of weapon you should use to fight a certain situation. Hello. Our outlines. He said, our weapon of warfare, of warfare, can be offensive and defensive. The weapon can be offensive, it can be defensive. The offensive weapons of warfare are instrument for attack. They include the following. Number one, the word. Somebody say the word. The word. Ephesians 6, 17, Hebrew 4, 12. The word. Colossians 3, 16. The word. The Bible makes us understand that the word of God is a two-edged sword. The word of God is sharp. Hallelujah. Meaning, it can be both offensive and defensive. Hallelujah. The word. You can write that first Samuel 17, 26, then 45 to 47, Job 22, 28. The word. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established. The word, make declaration. The word of God is full of power and has the ability to penetrate any realm of life. So always decree the word on that situation. Any situation you find yourself that is not okay, make declaration of God's word to that situation. That is the purpose of knowing the kind of weapon you should use. Number two, use the blood of Jesus as a weapon. Leviticus 17, 11, Revelation 12, 10 to 11, said they overcame him by the blood and by the word of their testimony the word of god the blood the blood of jesus has a voice speaking better than any other voices hebrew 12 24 it is the last card of god it serves as attacking and defensive weapon God said, when I see the blood, I will pass over. The blood defend. Then when you release the blood, you send the blood. It can frustrate your enemies. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus is a weapon. Proverbs 18.10 The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Add 4.12 Philippians 2, 9 to 11. The name of Jesus gives you access to higher spiritual realm that cannot be imagined. Every other name bow to his name. 
Acts 16, 18, Acts 36. In the name of Jesus, that situation you came in with, expire in the name of Jesus. Praise and worship. That's number four. In Acts 16, 25 to 26, he talk about Paul and Silas. In Second Chronicles, 2018 to 22. He talk about Joshaphat. How they use praise and worship to frustrate the enemy. But one thing you must understand, the number one enemy of a praiser, the number one enemy to the enemy of a praiser is God. When you are angry with somebody that is dancing, God will be angry with you because God wants people to praise him. God wants people to dance. To celebrate him. Because those are the things God cannot do for himself. Praise. Wrought victory in battle. Because he bring, good, he bring God into the, the situation. When you are praising God. God come down. Because the Bible says God inhabit the praise of his people. Hallelujah. Prayer and fasting. Matthew 17, 21. This kind goeth not except by fasting and prayers. Mark 9, 20, 28 to 29. James 5, 17 to 18. Elijah was a man like you and I, but he prayed. Say to someone, pray. Say to the other person, say, pray. Prayer and fasting bring great deliverance and victory in every situation. Isaiah 58 verse 6. Prayer and fasting. On your way to the top, prayer and fasting is not negotiable. You must do part of it. Hallelujah. Submission and obedience. Somebody say submission and obedience. Second Corinthians 10, 5. James 4, 7. Say submit yourself to the Lord. Submit yourself to God. And resist the devil. He shall flee from you. So your submission and obedience is what gives you power to attack. It will give you power even to express, to begin to make decree because you are already on his side. Hallelujah. Then battle us. Battle us. That's what Jeremiah 51 20 to 23 says. A battle us is a very powerful spiritual weapon which can be used to hack all stubborn enemies to death. Battle us. God said, he said, you are my battle us. So you, say to yourself, I am a battle us of God. So with you, you can destroy with you, you can combine situation to become normal. Hallelujah. A man or woman in Christ who submit and obey God selflessly is a commander in life. So, what makes you to be a commander is your submission and obedience. Somebody say submission and obedience. Rise to your feet. You can celebrate Jesus. Get out an offering. This offering is for the school of the spirit. If you have a testimony, counselors are out there at the front of the medical center. Then you have a special thanksgiving. Meet me by the side of the auditorium here. The offering is blessed. Your hands are blessed. 
In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Oh, what can they run by and I make it again? Oh, what can they run by and I make it again? Oh, what can they run by and I make it again? Oh, what can they run by and I make it again? Oh, to glorify the name of the Lord exalt him for he alone is worthy lift your voice to Jesus it's the month of April we should be grateful to God father we love you open up your minds and begin to adore his name lift him high lift him high lift him high he is worthy of our adoration why you not acknowledge his name? He rabba kandele ke shriya namate nama shahada Bebe zune ne kosh ke pa ya I raido shisai ne me kosh ke pa Lord we adore your name Jesus Yeah. 
He's always a rabbi menetos. Oh, Shahanaina. She caught up in the train. Oh, I love him so much. Lead your voice again. For Jesus is the sweetest. Name you know, say sweet as oh, he's the sweetest name I know. Yeah, hey, he's always just the same. Praise his holy name. Oh, that is the reason. Yeah, why I love him so. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Holy Ghost, make me a Roman teach. Refine me to be used for your beauty. Just for you and for you. Holy Ghost, are you hungry for his presence? Holy Ghost, make me a Roman seed. Refine me to be used for your beauty. Just for you and for you. Holy Ghost. Oh. But this is my heart, cry, Holy Ghost. He might cry, Holy Ghost. Just for you to be more like you is all I want. Oh, this is my heart cry, only God. Hey, he might cry, only God. Just for you to be more like you is all I pray. Shine. 
The world will draw strength from your great name. And they are bored in your name. There's no words to describe. There's no phrase to describe. They are. It's a throne. I pray great is you. Shining glory, I worship you. It's a throne, I pray great is you. Shining glory, I worship you. Oh, look at the dumb of Jesus. The shining glory.
Lord is upon you. I have never seen God fail. No deserve. I have never seen God fail. Lord is upon you. I have never seen God fail. No deserve. I have never seen God fail. I have never seen God fail. No disappointing.
appreciation to show you're grateful to show that you are grateful begin to wave those hands to Jesus if the Lord deserve all your praise and worship in this understanding begin to wave it let Jesus know you are in his house this morning begin to wave those hands as you are waving those hands keep, begin to give the Lord a shout of praise I can hear you they shout inside is a wind inside yeah. they shout inside is a wind inside yeah. give the Lord a shout of praise yes sir I can see you one more time give the Lord a shout at the ah, lift yeah. of joy yeah. we are ready to give the Lord let me hear you one more time give the Lord a shout yes sir let me show you about your body are you ready now you said great God of the universe yes sir what can you do you said what can you do Jesus you said great over every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus but you you are great to run the universe what can you do what can you do there is nothing hard for you what can you do Jesus he's a name he's a name he's a name
church of this morning. I want us to enjoy Jesus. I want you to give him your best dance. Everybody lift him up. Fire. Lift Jesus. Fire. Lift Jesus. Fire. 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 Let me see you like this. A woman to pray, praise Master Jesus. We are using our intimacy prayer manual, page four, prayer from 24. That said, My father, my fathers are beginning to pray. Let grace to do all your command rest on me. 
to enjoy all round blessing. Praise Master Jesus. Our anchor scriptures is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 2, Leviticus chapter 26, verse 3 to 4, and Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. 1 verse 8. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 2. It said, If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and observe and do all his commandments which I commanded this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee above all the nations of the earth. Verse 2. He said, And this blessing shall come upon thee and overtake thee if thou hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Leviticus 26, verse 3 and 4. He said, If ye walk in my status and do my commandment and do obey it, he said, I will give thee rain in due season, and the land shall yield an increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. In Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, he said, This book of law shall not depart out of the mouth, but thou shalt meditate day and night, therein, that thou mightst observe to do according to all that is written therein. He said, For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. I pray for you for grace. Receive that grace to obey his commandment in the name of Jesus. Lift up your right hand on fire. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my maker. As I begin to pray, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let grace to do all your command rest on me to enjoy all our blessing. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lama shada paleta, ikwada paleto supra gata, yaga daga lega daga lega daga to, iraga daga lega daga lega to, ikwada paleto, eshuka lega to, ikwada paleta. Let your grace to do all your command rest upon me. To enjoy all our blessing, ikwada paleto, yaga to, raga 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 to. Ragada, ragada, ikwada paleta, eshuta legada, rada paleta dagada, ikwada paleta. In Jesus' name, our prayers are answered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please celebrate the grace of God upon this commission. The grace of God upon our father, the restoration apostle, and our mother, the dynamic mother. Celebrate grace. Hallelujah. It is Rema time. Please get out your Rema for living. Rema for Living is our daily devotional, a guide to all round successful living as an Omega child. And in the book of Hebrew, chapter 4, verse 12, the Bible said, The word of God is quick and powerful. The word of God is quick, it's alive and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing as under of soul and spirit and of the joint and marrow, and is the designer of the thought and the intent of the arts. In Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 16, the Bible said, the word was found, and I did eat them, and the word was unto me, the joy and the rejoicing of my heart, for I am called by the name, O Lord God of hosts. Hallelujah. So the word of God is our guide to all around successful living in life. Our topic this morning is your salvation is above all. And our test is taken from Hebrew chapter 11, verse 26. Esteeming the reproach of Christ, greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Hallelujah. 
What you esteem is what you place value on. Moses, by all standards, had opportunity to become the next Pharaoh. But he threw that away because of his salvation. So your salvation is above all. Nothing is worth the value or the price Father, of your salvation. Egypt was a place of abundance. But loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Christ. Your salvation is above all. Your salvation is priceless. You cannot pay for it. You cannot pay for your salvation. It is the gift of God to the believer. You cannot exchange it with anything in this world. But it's surprising to see how people treat their salvation for vain things. Money, fame, etc. They run heter scatter, chasing shadow at the detriment of the written, which is their salvation. Salvation is not reduction. Papa always say, says salvation is not reduction. Hallelujah. It is entering into the rest of Christ, operating in the ways of the kingdom. That is why Matthew 6 verse 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Your salvation is above everything else. Stop running after what should be added to you as a child of God. Hold fast to your salvation. Revelation chapter 3 verse 11 says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. The enemy is out, collecting the crown of believers in exchange for peanuts, houses, cars, money. Woe to them that go to Egypt for help. Isaiah 31 verse 1. The silver is mine and the gold is mine. See the Lord of hosts. Agai chapter 2 verse 8. If you hold on to your salvation, you will lay up gold as dust. That is what the scripture says in Job 22 verse 24. And you will display the riches of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Turn to somebody to your left and right. Say your salvation is above all. With this understanding, please rise to your feet. We are going to take the prayer this morning. Lift up your right hand to heaven as we pray. Say my father, my father. As I begin to pray. Help me to esteem my salvation. Above all, open your mouth and fire prayers. <laughs> Shut up, 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 shut up
in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Sunday service announcements. For those attending a Sunday service for the first time, you are highly welcome and recognized. Every first Sunday of the month is the ministry's anointing service, giving opportunity to other branches to connect via the airways to achieve a global combined service. Owners of motorcycles and tricycles are advised to park in front of first auditorium and ensure it is properly locked. Suggestion boxes are available for feedbacks. Loitering around the church premise during services is prohibited. Security, please take note. The Children's Church is located at the First Auditorium. Omega Teens Institute meet every first and second Saturdays of the month. The time is 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Parents should please release their words at the end of service. Please leave your phone number with teachers at Jehovah the Doctor's office. Daughters of Peppers, which is a single sisters, meet every second Saturday of the month by 12 noon. The venue is at the first auditorium. Omega Fire Ministries Brothers Forum meets second Wednesday of the month by 4.30 p.m. Venue, first auditorium. The global office construction project is still on. Be part of this project's success by sending in your contribution. Simply reach the engineer whose phone number is boldly displayed on the screen. The use of cell phones during services is highly prohibited. You are not permitted to move chairs in the auditoriums outside or rearrange them for sleeping purposes at any time. Admission into Mega Bible Institute is currently ongoing kindly visit the admission office to obtain the farm. Omega Bible Institute also offer online courses. Simply visit our website at www.obi.online.com. Also, the ICT Center affiliated to OBI is in full operation. Interested persons should visit the admission office to obtain the farm. Watch Voice of Fire broadcast on Celebration TV, the word ever fresh. Voice of Fire is also on local radio and TV stations and all social media platforms. Your tithes, your offerings, first fruits and seed faith are part of your kingdom commitment as a covenant child. Every third Sunday of the month, we offer contributions to the welfare poor. Join Celebration TV on Mix LR. It's a radio app that brings to your listening player anointed teachings and messages on the go for 24-7. Simply connect through mixlr.com forward slash celebration TV. Omega Bible Institute commences bachelor degree program in theology. Their course curriculum has been expanded to include components in law, medicine and accountancy. Join Omega Farm Ministry social media community host Graham. It is a global platform of convergence and fellowship. You can join Hosgram by following these four simple steps. Step 1. Go to the Play Store or App Store. Step 2. Fill in your name and email address. Step 3. Click Submit. Step 4. Go to your email account to confirm you sign up. Men All Night holds every second Friday of the month by 10 p.m. at the first auditorium. Omega Campus Fellowship holds every Sunday by 3 p.m. at Alumni Hall, Campus 1, Auchi Polytechnic. Car owners are advised to obey the traffic rules and maintain the given parking space. Jolie's Music Studio gives you the best of music production at affordable prices with great delivery for artists anywhere in the world. Our services include analog and digital audio production, video shoots, promotion and distribution, jingles and audio covers, rehearsal sessions, brand management, music academy and consulting. Visit us at Jolie's Records or call us on the following number. For easy payment of your tithes and seed sowing to the ministry, 
we now have a point of sale popularly known as POS for convenient transfers. The account details is displayed on the screen. From the office of a Chief Security Officer, Omega Fire Ministries Headquarters, all members are enjoined to be security conscious at all times. Ensure that you open your car boot to be searched. Don't insult the security personnel. Bags should be kept away from the church auditorium as it shall not be allowed to enter the auditorium. All bikes and car owners should ensure they have their gate pass to avoid any form of embarrassment. Mothers should watch over their children. Know where they are. Watch Celebration TV on Freeview UK, channel 275, covering the whole of UK and Ireland. Jolie's Photo Studio is now open for outstanding photo shots. Contact us for your birthday photos, wedding and pre-wedding photos, family photos, photo sessions and more. Visit us at Jolie's Photo Studio or call us on the following number. Our weekly activities are as follows. Mondays, I must get the prayer meeting by 6 a.m. Also, Foundation School holds by 4 p.m. Remember, the certificate is a must for every Omega child. Youth meeting holds at the first auditorium by 4.30 p.m. Tuesdays, Bible study, word encounter by 4 p.m. prompt. Wednesdays, marriage committee meeting holds by 4 p.m. Thursdays, men and women's fellowship meeting holds by 4 p.m. Fridays, prayer service known as solution service which holds by 4 p.m. Sundays, house fellowship meetings holds at our various centers by 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. You are encouraged to get a house fellowship manual. To get full messages of Apostle Johnson Suleiman and notifications of live services, Kindly subscribe to all our social media platforms on YouTube Celebration TV, on Facebook Celebration TV and Apostle Johnson Suleiman, on TikTok My Celebration TV, on Instagram My Celebration TV, on Twitter at My Celebration TV. Introducing My Time Has Come TV channel. A fresh platform that unveils the awe-inspiring wonders of God transforming every aspect of life. Ignite your faith, nurture your spirit and ignite your miracles by subscribing to My Time Has Come TV channel on your phone now. Your breakthrough awaits. You are advised to stop picking money from the altar. Our daily devotional guide Rema for Living is now available on digital store. Simply log on to Amazon.com. Search for Rema for Living with Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Place your order from anywhere in the world. Word ever fresh. Boost your intellectual and spiritual prowess with inspiring books written by Apostle Johnson and Dr. Lizzie Suleiman. Available in paperback on Amazon. Registration for Young Ministers Training School YMTS is ongoing. Interested persons are to see the International Church Admin for registration. All Omega Fire Ministries churches in Africa are to connect to the headquarters admission office in starting up Omega Bible Institute with immediate effect. To all Omega Fire Ministries foreign churches, this is to inform you that Omega Bible Institute is compulsory for leadership and ordination. Contact the international headquarters for details. To all Omega Fire Ministries churches in Nigeria, all state pastors are directed to start Bible school in their respective states with immediate effect. Note that churches that are far from the state headquarters are to seek clearance from the headquarters admission office to start on their own. There is vacancy for two male porters at the Grace Hall. Interested persons should contact the church admin immediately. Chairs in church are meant for sitting, not for sleeping purposes. You are advised to desist from using chairs for sleeping 
to avoid damages. Vacancy exists in a reputable microfinance bank. The positions are listed below. Internal Auditor, Head of Marketing, Head Finance Officer. Applicants are expected to meet up with the following requirements. Minimum of first degree in any related finance related cars. Minimum of three years post qualification experience. Possession of experience and certificate in microfinance banking will be an added advantage. Interested persons are to apply in writing with their CV attached to the International Church Admins Office. International Women Prayer Band Fasting and Prayer Meeting holds on Monday 22nd through Wednesday 24th April 2024. Members are hereby asked to wait to meet with their coordinator, Evangelist Beatrice, after the close of service. Children between the ages of three months to two years are to stay with their mothers at the nursing mother session located inside the main auditorium, while children from ages three years to 12 years are to be at the first auditorium where their classes are located. Parents should please note that they would not be allowed to pick their children until the end of service. To be part of this wonderful work happening in our ministries by way of financial contributions and partnership, kindly contact us on the following numbers. Enjoy yourself in this atmosphere of miracles. God bless you. Hallelujah. We have some persons that are doing their special thanksgiving this morning. Please, if you hear your name, dance to the altar. Mr. and Mrs. Daniel C.D. Mr. and Mrs. Oboma Sunday. Come now for your special thanksgiving. Jehovah Meliwo, O Meliwo, you must be like Say 
so far. As from today henceforth Lord may their life begin to appreciate in the name of Jesus. You said that the past of the just is like a shining light. May their life begin to shine. May they move from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Father. If you know that you are the most excited person in church this morning, can you lift up your voice and give Jesus a shout of praise? Don't allow your neighbor to shout more than you do. I say lift up your voice and give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. As you will celebrate with testifiers this morning, God will give you your multiple testimonies. I want to begin with those who are thanking God for adding a year to their age. As you keep on clapping for Jesus, I will run through their names. Isaac Edo, Esther Musibao, Pastor Mrs. Selena Hegim, Mrs. Sule Hope, Mrs. Mercy Ehewele, Mrs. Osaza Yodele. Keep on clapping for Jesus. Bro Emmanuel Daniel, Isaac Ire, God Gift Ojoemin, Rejoice Ojoemin, Elijah Eliza, Christabel Chick. Abigail John, Mrs. Philomena Zedomi, Sister Obuwe Joy. Can we give Jesus a shout of praise for them? We have those that travel during the week. God took them to their destinations and brought them back safely. Dickin Francis Senamo, Mr. Ogudu Sivanas, Sister Aliu, Mercy. We have those who are thanking God. For successful marriage anniversary. Evangelist and Mrs. Ramsey Azimomo. They are thanking God for successful seven years marriage anniversary. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Abolaji Stephen is thanking God. They are thanking God for successful 15 years marriage anniversary. We 
We have the families that God has blessed with babies. To the family of Mr. and Mrs. Bryce, who they bear. God gave them a beautiful baby girl. Pastor Mrs. Ann Garoba is thanking God for giving her daughter a bouncing baby boy. We have those thanking God for financial favor. Sister Mary Isaac and Sister Precious Abdullah. Can you clap your hands for Jesus? Sister Francisca Omaya is thanking God for successful freedom. Mrs. Ochedo Vera is thanking God for supernatural healing. Sister Abigail John is thanking God for healing. Bro Osaz Emmanuel is thanking God for saving him from road traffic accidents. Sister Yemo Bafeva is thanking God for supernatural healing from strange attack. Mrs. Orewe Rivero is thanking God for miracle alerts. Can you clap your hands better for Jesus? Sister Okuejo said God preserve her and her household from what would have been a terrible gas explosion. Mrs. Afatapa and thanking God for favor. God gave her a new phone. Mrs. Rejoice Gideon is thanking God for supernatural healing. Evangelist Perez Brandy is thanking God for healing and financial favor. Mrs. Mary Momo is thanking God for preservation and healing. Mrs. Edo Doris is thanking God for healing through wonders without numbers. Pastor Flourish Ajibola is thanking God for divine intervention and deliverance from satanic attack. God also preserved his money. He said he was on a bike and some robbers made attempt to snatch the money from him. Huge amount of money, but God preserved the money. They missed their target. Can we celebrate God for him? Sister Juliet Oremeta is thanking God for supernatural healing after Papa prayed for her. Clap your hands for Jesus. Bro Omoza Popo is thanking God for the release of his verification uh, results in school. And God gave him also financial favor. Mrs. Joy Otobo is thanking God for Johnny Mercy and for the preservation of her family. Mrs. Imonige R is thanking God for successful NYC program for her daughter. Sister Mercy Issa is thanking God for supernatural healing. Sister Gift Igene is thanking God for deliverance from the spirits of death and also from fire disaster. Clap your hands for Jesus. Please, if you hear your name quickly, come forward and let's hear what God has done for you. Keep on clapping for Jesus as I call them forth. From Mark Oseremen, a hymn. Kesum Se Tito from Botswana. Bro Jambu Osamaye. Mr. Irie Jonah. Mr. and Mrs. Omoma Sunday. Mrs. Yemisi and Miracle Iyalome. Sister Rejoice David from Akwaibom. Clap your hands for Jesus better. Bromak. Our brother is here to appreciate God for a turnaround in his life. He was struggling to go to school before he had an encounter with God's servant and his wife. Now, in his family, there's this setback academically. People don't go to school. And after he got connected to this commission, one of his prayer points was that God should help him to become educated. And God had his prayer. God got him connected to Apostle Johnson Suleiman, who placed him on scholarship. He began schooling in Auchi Polytechnic. He said the enemy was fighting his academics. At times, his results will be something not to talk about at all. Will be so poor. 
He now called and sent a message to Papa. Papa replied and prayed for him. After that prayer, he began to have excellent performance. There was a time the enemy fought him and his script was missing. He also sent SMS to Papa and Papa said, may that script be found. Few days after that response, they discovered his script. God saw him through. Now he's a graduate. He said, Papa and Mama did not stop at OND level. They also sponsored him to HND final. Now he has graduated. Why yet a student? He was privileged to be among those that were picked to be empowered, to be trained on skill acquisition. And he was trained on a particular skill. Apart from the training, he was also empowered financially. He's here as a bundle of testimony to return all the glory to God for turning his life around. Now he's on his way for his NYSC program. Can we give Jesus a shout of praise for him? Came Mr. Tito from Botswana. This is her first time of being here, but she has been privileged to be in Papa's program, first in Botswana. She said when she had a brother program, it was a bit far from where she was, but God empowered her miraculously. She was in that program. While she was in the venue, she had an encounter that Papa located her. She just prayed and said, God, let this encounter become a reality. The last session of that program in Botswana, God's servant went straight to where she was seated in the crowd, held her hand, and prophesied on her. She said, after them, her life turned around. When Papa also came to South Africa, she made it to that program, and the grace of God also located her. Can we celebrate God for that? She said after that encounter, her prayer life has improved, her financial life has exploded to the glory of God. While they were on their way coming, she said there was turbulence. And in the plane, we are people of other religion. He said the turbulence was so serious at the time, it was, the plane was going down. She began to call the God of Apostle Joseph Suleiman. She said to her surprise, the people that are not Christian began to call and mention the God of Apostle Joseph Suleiman following after her. And they were mentioning the blood of Jesus. She said she was so surprised because she knows that these are not Christian. He said as they were shouting as the plane was going down, the plane finally picked and went back to the right position. That's how God saved her from a plane crash. The enemy wanted to stop her testimonies, but God intervened. Can we now give Jesus another shout of praise? Bro, Jumbu Osame. Our brother said he had heard about miracle money. It has never happened to him. He kept on believing God to experience that. A few days ago, he had a need and did not know how to go about it. Surprisingly, a miracle alert came. Huge amount of money. He said he was shocked. He went to trace it. He could not trace it. God provided that money for him to be able to solve a pressing need that was confronting him. He said he had waited before coming out for this testimony. Days have passed. He has consulted the bank. There is no trace of the source of this money. That is a proof that it is a supernatural supply. Can we give Jesus a shout of praise? God will give you a miracle money. I read Jonah. Tell us what God has done for you. Somebody shout grace. Shout grace. Uh, I'm here to testify on what God did for me a few weeks ago. 
this testimony is supposed to come before now, but because of the police, they were doing some investigation. That was why I heard it now. Someone brought a car, because I'm into diagnosis, and I said cars too. Someone brought a car for me to maintain on a Friday. That night of the Friday, my colleague called me in the morning of it that the car had been vandalized. So, got into my office, I saw the vandalized things that were worth about three million of the car. People were now coming and saying, ah, you are the son of your oracle now, so these people, they must surely catch them. So I got home, told my wife, we pray a simple prayer that God should turn their cancer to foolishness. The following morning, the following morning lo and behold, my phone was on fire. And I said, ah, what is happening? They said, those guys that stole the, the, the items, other thieves that went to other places to rob, went to the hotel where they dropped that particular item, stole it from them, brought it to the office that they want to sell again back to us. <laughs> the thief, the original thief, were arrested by another set of thieves after they prayed. <laughs> so, <laughs> they brought it to my shop, got in there, I, I was shocked because it's something strange. So I called on the area uh, commander and he now sent his boys down. They took them to the police station. It, they now made the investigation. Uh, how did this happen? Because when I called him, he was shocked too. He said, is, this possible? is it possible? I said, yes. So he brought his boys down. He took them to this police station. They now uh, interrogated them. The, those guys that stole it from the other, the main thief, now, now told us, told the police that they are kept in the, in the hotel. They were hungry. They now stole the exact things that they, they put out of the, from the car, brought it to our place. Getting there, they, they, they said we were confused. Now, uh, what brought us here? God intervened miraculously. Can we lift up our voice and give God a shout of praise? Give Jesus a shout of praise. There are so many testimonies that have not been taken of what God has done through his servant over the years. There are many miracles. There are many people that God has affected through God's servant and his wife. But they are here to return. They are even here to come and share the testimonies. Our mama standing here said 25 years ago, Papa was ministering in Auchi College. She was believing God for a child. She came and Papa located her and said, you are going to carry your baby. And they are going to call her name Miracle. He said, everybody that will hear about this will know that there is God in heaven. She left that crusade. God gave her a baby. The enemy came. Because of some challenges, they relocated. She had been making every effort to come back to share her testimony over the years. Whenever she's preparing to come, she will fall sick. Whenever she's preparing to come, something will happen. She made up her mind and said, The God of Apostle Joseph Suleiman, I know I am indebted because your servant prophesied and said, I will return with my testimony. Help me. And God touched her. She was healed and she came with her. Miracle. This was the girl that God gave her 25 years ago. She has come to return all the glory to God. Can you lift up your voice and give Jesus another shout of praise? 25 years old testimony. Can you give Jesus another shout of praise? Intimacy. Mr. and Mrs. Obama Sunday.
Tell us what God has done for you. Um, somebody shout grace. I, the, I'm just here to appreciate the grace of uh, my restoration apostle, my spiritual father upon this. They are here to appreciate God for God's divine intervention in their life. They made several attempts to settle down maritally. The time he made up his mind to go and pay the bride price of his wife standing be, uh, beside him, something happened. It was up to four attempts. Tell us. The first time I made attempt to settle down with her legally, I had an accident with my vehicle. I couldn't do that. That was December 23 last year. So I, then I began to nurse my injury. Just after that, I fixed another date for the second attempt. She was attacked with sickness. After treating her, that could not hold again. After treating her, I planned it for the third time again. Then she was attacked with stroke. Then I was taking her from place to place just to see that the stroke goes away. It never left. I, I brought her to this place, this ministry, and Papa laid hands on her. And that was how she received her healing. He said the people that saw them can no longer recognize her because her face shifted. She was paralyzed. But after God's servant prayed for her, she was totally restored. They now fixed the marriage, the settlement of bride price for the fourth time. And God's servant prayed for them and said this time it shall be so, uh, successful and supported them. He said on their way, the enemy wanted to attack, but the grace of God covered them. There was disagreement, and because God's servant had already spoken, everything was done successfully to the glory of God. They are here as bundle of testimonies because their lives have turned around financially and in all aspects. They are here to return all the glory to God. Can we give Jesus a shout of praise for them? A louder shout of praise. Sister, rejoice, David. Our sister said she had a miscarriage in 2019 and she had about God's servants and she came here for fire night, July 2020. And as she was there in the congregation, she had when God's servants called someone's case who had similar issue like hers. She connected to what God's servant said to her. God's servant said to the woman, you are going to carry your baby. And she killed into that. She left back to Aquaibom. The same month she took him, God gave her this baby boy. Can you rise up on your feet in appreciation to God and give him a shout of praise? Pick up a seed and connect to these testimonies. You they blow my mind, oh, supernatural God. Mm -hmm. oh.
Hallelujah. We want to give to God this morning. Please, can you be on your feet? Be on your feet. Lift up your offerings above your head this morning. Speak to that offering in your hands. Speak to the offering in your hands that I'll, I will not see shame. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you for this great opportunity to give to you this morning. Lord, that as our hands are lifted up above our hands, our, our life is blessed this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that you will do a new thing in our lives by the reason of this offering in our hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we drop this offering, we drop everything called shame. We drop everything called pain. We drop everything called lack. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Accept us and accept our offerings. The offering in your hand is blessed. Your life is blessed. In Jesus' name. If you are ready to praise God this morning, give the Lord a shout of praise. I serve a God who is one of us. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, King. Shout to God this morning. I serve a God who is mighty. Yo, yo, yo. I serve a God who is one of us. Hallelujah. Yeah. I serve a God. is a good God. Hallelujah. Yeah. You can Oh, you 
Come on, jam those hands together to the King of Kings. Is that the best way you can celebrate your father this morning? Are you glad to see today? If you know the Lord has made it possible for you to see today, give the Lord a shout of praise. I can hear you one more time. Give the Lord a shout. Is worthy. I love the name of Jesus. How I love the name of Jesus. Because the name of Jesus is so beautiful. Hallelujah. I love your holy name.
and now we love your name God Jesus you're the beautiful one we love your Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give the Lord a big hand this morning. Let's receive our tithe this morning and let's give our tithe unto the Lord. Thank you, Father. Lift it above your head and pray. Father, thank you for the privilege to tithe. The devourer is rebuked perpetually. May we enjoy the blessings of overflow, the blessings of obedience. In Jesus' name. Everybody testifies you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. Everybody testifies, you are good. You are good, Jehovah, you are good. Everybody. Everybody testifies, you are good. You are so good. Take a hymn in 42, page 42, Immortal, Invisible God, Only Wise.
Hallelujah. Amen. Luke chapter 8 and verse 8. Luke 8, 8. Luke chapter 8. And I want us to read it together because it is a very important scripture that we are going to pray about. It's on the screen. After the count of two, we'll read it together. One to go. When he has said this particular truth, when he had expounded and opened this exact and precise revelation, he turned to them. He does hear. Let him hear. The story is about the sower. I mean, I can't get into all of that. We know the parable of the sower. The sower went out, some seeds fell on rocky ground, stony ground, some fell by the wayside. But the, 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 the seed that produced maximum was the seed that fell on good ground. And the Bible says it produced a hundredfold. So, the productivity was not based on either the sower or the seed. It was the ground. There are people today, no matter what you plant on them, they won't produce. Because they are not good ground. No matter what you... Listen, it's not about people around you. It's not even about your job. But you ask yourself, are you a good ground? If you are not a good ground, no matter what is planted, no matter the opportunity, no matter the connection, no matter who you meet or who you know, there is no positive outcome because you are not. And we are going to cry to the God of heaven. We will cry because, see, eh, you can be under an anointing that is productive, but if your head is bad, put your hand on your head. Say, my head. You will not reject prophecy. Listen to me. It can happen. Remove your hand now. Listen, when you, you, how do you feel, how do you feel, hi, hey, I'm, I'm careful not to say something, how do you feel that somebody has been around a structure, an organization, a system, a personality, you have been around that person for 10 years, you are never favored, somebody got to meet that person less than one week and the person is favored, I mean the person, no, it's your head, it's your head. Good ground. Good ground. Words are spoken and instantly they manifest. On some other people, 10 years, they are still there. Nothing has happened. Good ground. We're in Nairobi, Kenya, and um, one of the sessions, a prophecy was given concerning a lady who was holding a, 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 photo, a photo of her sister. You may have watched that. A photo of her sister that the girl was mad on the streets of um, Canada. Her name was mentioned, mad on the streets of Canada. She was mad on the street, walking on the street. Mad. Mad. That's Canadian madness. That's not, um, not our kind of madness. Madness there. And she was on the street mad. And words were spoken. But the next morning, she walked back to the house. Normal madness gone. And somebody else may have been in that same meeting. Waiting for things to happen. Nothing happened. Oh Lord, make my life a good ground. Oh Lord, arise, make my life a good ground. Oh Lord, arise, make my life a good ground. Oh Lord, arise, make my life a good ground. Oh Lord, arise, make my life a good ground. Oh Lord, arise, make my life a say, My father, my father, shout it louder than that. In the name of Jesus. As I pray now, oh Lord, arise, make my life a good ground. Aparakwasa kadabarata, shatetereti, atirasa, izagalaga, izagalaga, izagalaga. Ha 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 ha! 
Haraga sa 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 Parada saya Hey My life Become a good ground My life Be a good ground My life Be a good ground Shaladasa in Jesus name may our lives become good ground may our head not reject prophecies lift your hand toward heaven I will lift your name above all names Yahweh my lover I worship you You patterned the Red Sea And made the barren fruitful Igwe Hallowed be your name Great and mighty King That's who you are I bless your name Oh great God, great and mighty King, that's who you are. I bless your name. Oh great God, great and mighty King, that's who you are. I bless your name. Oh great God. 
God, great and mighty King. That's who you are. I bless your name. I will lift your name above all names. Yahweh, my lover, I worship you. You pattern the Red Sea and made the barren fruitful. The king, that's who you are. I bless your name. Great and mighty king, that's who you are. I bless your name. Great and mighty king, thank you. That's who you are. We love you. Lift your hands. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. 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 Let us glorify. Let us glorify Emmanuel. I will glorify Emmanuel, 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 Jesus. I will glorify Emmanuel, I will glorify Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, I will glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, I will glorify Emmanuel. Emmanuel, I will glorify. past two days there's a song that just has been ministering to me from east to west no other God from north to south I say there is no there is no other God from east to west Amen. Let's clap our hands for the Lord. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Let's be seated. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. Romans 9. Let's read it together. Romans 9 verse 13. If you have opened it, you can see it on the screen. Are we ready? One, two, go. As it is written, Jacob have I love, Esau have I hated. Can we take that again? As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. This came from the mouth of Christ, of God. Before these children were born in the Old Testament. Divine rejection. I'm preaching on divine rejection. The God that I know is a loving God. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. Was he so part of the world? Talk to me. Was he so part of the world? For God so loved the world. But Esau have I hated. This is serious. The God we know is a loving God. In Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 3. He said I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Meaning that love is inexhaustible. Jeremiah 31 verse 3. I have loved thee with an everlasting love. In John chapter 13 verse 1, the last phrase, he said, having loved his own that was in the world, he loved them unto the end. In 1 John 3 verse 1, behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth not us, because he knew him not. John 15 13, he said, greater love has no man than this, than a man should lay down his life for his friends. But Esau have I hated. In Romans 5 verse 8, he said, God commended his love towards us in that while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. But the Bible says, Esau have I hated. The word of God is not contradictory if you decide to take a closer study. Does God reject people? Yes. Look at what he said about Esau. Esau have I hated. The New Living Translation and the NIV says, Esau have I rejected. In 1 Samuel chapter 16, Samuel was going from verse 1, God said to Samuel, don't mourn over Saul anymore because I've rejected him from being king. Don't cry. So go to Saul's house. Go to the house of Jesse and get me a son. And God, had to, Samuel rather had to remind God. He said, if I go to that place, Saul... Imagine Saul was still king. And Samuel was on his way to anoint another king. It's like somebody sitting as a president. And someone else is going to declare another person whilst the former is still in office. That's a crisis. So as he was on his when God spoke to him, go there. He said to the Lord in verse 2, if Saul hears it, Saul will kill me. God said, that's true. Let's plan. Saul was so wicked that God and Samuel had to plan how to handle him. You didn't get that. A man was so heartless and reckless that he took a prophet and the Almighty to strategize. So God said to Samuel, take an heifer in your hand and tell the elders that you are going there to sacrifice, then your life will be preserved. This is a deep revelation. That no matter who plans to kill you, if you carry something, their mind will change. No matter who plans to kill you, if you know the mystery of sacrifice, you shatter their expectation. There is no death sentence that sacrifice cannot cancel. Whether medical, whether witchcraft, whether diabolic, whether academical, it doesn't matter. Anything that looks like a sentence on your head, if you can take a sacrifice, you can take an effort. He said, and also tell the elders. 
So these are the two major components that delivers a man from onslaughts, assaults, harassments of life. Your revelation of the power of sacrifice and your connectivity to leaders spiritually and those of higher ranking. Am I communicating here? Those of higher spiritual ranking. One of the biggest errors that we people commit is that we think that as believers we are all the same. By salvation we are all the same. By covenant there are seniors. There are people who have labored, who have paid price in their work with God. It's an error to line up yourself and say we are equals. Sir, every military uniform is the same. But ranks reveal who is ahead of who. In fact, there are certain uniforms that are only meant for generals. When you say you are a soldier, you are a military man, the first thing we do, we check your rank. So, the, the, the civilization we see today is people say, we are all children of God, we are all the same. We are not all the same, sir. No, we are not. There are people that God anoints higher than some. Uh, Hebrews 1 9 because thou art love righteousness hated iniquity wherefore God even thy God has anointed you higher above thy fellow so this mentality you carry we are all the same we are all the same we are all the same we are calling on the same God what is it the blood of Jesus now wash me is what wash me so I need to correct that so he took a seed in his hand and got there and this is what happened. Samuel was walking with the eyes of the flesh. And when Samuel saw the first guy come out in verse 7, Samuel saw the first guy come out with his broad chest and biceps and broad shoulders. Samuel said, hey! Because Samuel said the Lord's anointed is before him because Saul was taller than everybody. So Samuel thought that royalty and kinship was a functionality of how you are built up. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. That was, that was where Samuel was. Samuel was walking on based on what God said yesterday. Because when Saul came out, Saul was taller than everybody. Tall. The Bible was everybody in Israel from, they were below Saul's shoulder. They were taller, he was taller than everybody. Because you cannot lead people when you're on the same level with them. To lead people, there must be something you have that they don't have. I was, one day I was in America, I was connecting from one state to another state. So I was following up the election. It was a Senate election. I think they were done with their presidential. It was a Senate election. We are moving from one state in America to another state. So I sat down with some guys with tattoo and earrings. And um, obviously these are rich kids. You know, their parents are rich, obviously, American kids. And tattoo and earrings and rastas. I mean, they were just sitting by my side and... We are discussing, I was asking about the election, we are just talking. And I said, who, who are you supporting? There were two major candidates in that state, the state I was flying from. And they supported a very decent guy. And the other guy that was a rasta, that was, that I expected them to support their kind. No, that was my thinking. I was expect, ah, they said, this one. All of them said, no, it's this guy, this guy, this guy. I said, well, what? I expected, they laughed. They said, we know, we know why you, do, you are saying that. Because you're saying that because of how we look. I say, yes. They say, that's the problem. He cannot lead us if he's like us. He say, what's he going to tell us? We'll meet him in the, in the club. We'll meet him in the bar. He can't lead us. Something hit me. Something hit me. I, I kept quiet till we landed. Because they were, that was a message. I wish I'm talking to somebody. These are, these are children, children, 23, 24, 26, obviously rich kids. And they said, he can't lead us. When I said, I expect, they looked at themselves and they burst into laughter. And said, no, he's like us. So he can't lead us. We need somebody who has mastered what we are struggling with. When the friend.
friends you have are friends that you have the same weakness. You are lonely. All of you meet in the bar. All of you meet in the club. All of you meet in the party. All of you meet in, in I mean, and those are people you call you. Anyone that cannot uplift you, the best people to connect with are people whose, whose strength is your weakness. And he got there. Look at verse, verse 7. Samuel was almost deceived. Look at verse 7. Verse 7. Verse 7. First Samuel 16. Verse 7. Go back to verse 6. And it came to pass, when they were come, that he looked on Eliab. Looked. Not that he heard. As he looked, his sight deceived him. And said, surely the Lord's anointed is before him. And the Lord said to someone, look not on his countenance. Or on the height. Did you see that? So what, what, what was the deception? What was the deception? Because Saul was equally tall. He said, because I have. I'm trying to talk on divine that God rejects people. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. Now God said, look not on his countenance. Now look at verse 8. Look at verse 8. Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, Mother. Samuel didn't wait for God to tell him this time. He understood the mind of God. Neither had the Lord chosen. Now, go to verse 12. Verse 12. And he sent and brought him in. And now he was ruddy and wither of a good, beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him for this is it. Look at this scripture very well. Memorize it. He was ruddy and wither of a beautiful countenance. When I go back to verse 6, verse 7 rather, verse 7, verse 7. The Lord said to Samuel, look not on his countenance. Go to verse 12. He was of a beautiful countenance. One came with a wonderful countenance. God said, look not on his countenance. Another came. God said, wow, what a beautiful countenance. Same God. When you try to think you know God, the more you discover you don't know him. That is why I laugh at people who try to judge people's work with God. No, only God knoweth those that are his own. The wonders in heaven. We are going to see some wonders in heaven. There are some people you never thought would be raptured. They will be there. There are some people you never thought would make heaven. They will be there. And there are some people you thought would make heaven. They will not be there. God accept. Bible says, look not. You didn't Bring up verse 7 again. I'm not sure you understand that. Bring up verse 7. The Lord said to someone, look, look. Don't walk with the sight of the eyes on his countenance. Go to verse 12. He was of a beautiful con and countenance and goodly to look. One God said, don't look. The other God said, look. He is God. Sir, if we are to go by human metrics here, we are to go by human metrics and human standard, we we'll say this is not fair. Right? Who said this is not fair? For one man, you said, Don't look at him, forget his countenance. I reject him. For another, look at him. God is God, He wasn't elected, He cannot be impeached. His standards are beyond your human understanding. That is why you have to be careful before you open your mouth on matters that have depths. On matters. God spoke in scripture. He said to Israel, thou shall not be joined with an harlot. Don't be joined with an harlot. And he met a prophet. He said, go and marry a harlot. So how do you? See, spiritual matters be very slow to speak. Politics, discuss. Academic, discuss. 
Entrepreneurship, discuss. Business issue, discuss. The medical profession, run your mouth as you like. When it comes to spiritual matters, keep quiet because you can't understand God. His standards are high. Standards are high. God said, I have. First Samuel 15, 23. First Samuel 15, 23. First Samuel chapter 15 and verse 23. First Samuel 15, 20, 23. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So every rebel is a witch. Stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry because the Lord had, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, what has happened? The Lord had also rejected thee from being king. Verse 26. Look at another rejection. 26. And Samuel said unto Saul, I will not return to thee, for thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, and the Lord has rejected thee. Hmm. So God rejects people. Malachi chapter 1 and verse 3. Malachi 1. So God rejects people. I hated this all. This is God speaking now. And laid his mountains and heritage and his heritage west for the dragons of the wilderness. All the legacies of Esau. God said, I laid it as a waste for dragons to feast on because I hated him. What will God see in a man? And God will look at that man. They were still in the womb, not born. Children have not been born and God already had a preference. Listen to me. God has no favorites, but God has preferences. God has, you see, there are things if God wants to tell, wants to release certain message now, even if all of us hear from God, not all of us will hear that message. God will look for one person who is a preference, not a favorite. When you talk about favorite, your favorite is all, your favorite is always right. When you call somebody your favorite, whether right or wrong, you are with that person. God does not work like that. The day you cross the line, he changes his mind on you. So he has no favorite, but he has preferences. There are people God wants to, God looks around, he wants to raise up a millionaire in, in the midst of his people. He looks around, looks around, say, give this one. I know the state of his heart. There are people, if God give them one million, God will lose them and lose the money. God will lose them. They touch one million naira for the first time, ten million naira for the first time. They will they will bring their chair from from house. And say them, that place Papa's chair is. I see some space there. Can they put my? <laughs> Can they put my chair by the side? We are not on now. No, no. We are not on the same level. It's me and Papa that will be talking like man to man. <laughs> so God said, I have so. God has preferences. God has preferences. But he has no favorite. So for Esau, God already saw what he will do, what he will become, how he will live. So what is the problem? God did not hate the person of Esau. God hated his ways. God did not hate Esau as a person. God hated his ways. God hated his character. God hated his attitude. <laughs> but you ask yourself, between Jacob and Esau, who should God be angry at their attitude? Huh? Jacob was a supplanter. He started pulling his brother's legs right inside the womb. Once he came out before his brother. Was a supplanter. Uh -huh. When Jacob was done with, I mean, he ran from Esau, took all the stuff. We know the story. When he was returning back, God said to him, go back to your father's house. Go back to your father's house. While he was going, what Jacob did, Jacob put all his animals, donkeys, chariots, cattle, in their hundreds in front. He now put Leah, you know Leah, the wife he, he hated. He put the, <laughs> Leah and his children immediately after the animals. Why? So that when Esau starts killing, 
Before he finished the animals, he will come to the wife he didn't like and the children. He now put Rachel's and Leah's slave. Leah had a, a maid. Put that one's children and herself behind her. Now put Rachel's slave in front. Now put Rachel and the children. He was last. What kind of father? Before they kill everybody. <laughs> Yet God said, Jacob, have I loved. This God. Even if you are not perfect, be sincere. There are people in church who are still taking alcohol and they don't lie about it. And there are people in church who take alcohol. They take taba. You know taba? You know taba? Snuff. Some people, there are some taba that are more tabacious than. <laughs> taba is in grades. Hallelujah. I, uh... You see, in, in growing up, this day is so annoying because this generation is arrogant. When we were younger, when an uncle sends you to go and buy cigarettes, you remember those days? You buy. When they finish smoking, they drop. You carry. Hey, my father is here. How can I say this kind of thing? <laughs> because he didn't know. He didn't know all these things. My father has never smoked, has never drank in his life. So how do I stand and say this thing in front of him? When you are coming back from where you helped uncle, uncle will drop stick of cigarette. You know those, those small parts? You will now take it. As you, are, as you are trying to smoke, correct slap from the uncle. Am I correct? They will tell you, are you mad? You think, you think this thing I'm doing, I like it. It was a generation that even if they were weak, they were honest. Oh, you're not getting what I'm saying. I am me. I am very adventurous. I have, I chop a button slap. An uncle said, he buy this, he buys it, I'm waiting, he finish it. I said, this thing they are drawing. Let, as I try it, back of my head. Ha! Come on, dro drop it down. What are you doing? Some of them were working for my father. He was not aware. They would come, bring back their bicycles from where they went to sell ice creams, went to sell all of that, and they called me, go and buy this. When they finish, heavy, they were not perfect. But they knew that what they were doing was not right. Somebody, else. but the generation we are in now, we even introduce children. You know what you are doing is bad. And you are ready to destroy other people. Uh, yeah. Am I, am I talking to somebody? So God hated the ways of Esau. So let's consider his ways. Genesis 25, 27. Genesis 25, 27. And the boys grew. Esau was a cunning hunter. A man of the field. Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. This is the first reason why God said, Esau have I hated. The first thing God hated about Esau, Esau was in a wrong profession. Esau was a hunter. Esau was a hunter. Esau was a hunter. Esau was you say, Apostle, what do you mean? Is hunting a bad job? No, but not for Esau. Abraham was a rich man. Genesis 13 and verse 2. Abraham was very rich. Very rich. In cattle. Silver. Gold. In the house of Abraham, there were thousands of cattle. Thousands of donkey. Thousands of all kinds of animals. But in the midst of that, Esau left and was still hunting for animals. You know what I'm talking about? In the midst of abundance, Esau went to hunt for what was all over the house. Esau by hated. Does that reveal to you that even some of us, we are hunting for the things God has already given us? 
God has said you will get married. God has said you will have children. God has said you will be rich. Now you are disobeying God in order to get that thing which God has said he has given you. Esau have I hated. There are people today who are ready to denounce Christ, denounce God, all in the name of marriage. Meanwhile, God has said, I created them male and female. They are, they are hunters, hunters, ready to compromise, ready to cut corners. They want money. They can do anything for money, including dropping their Bible. They are hunters. A generation that has a prize. Hunters. Hunters. My heart, from when I gave my life to Jesus, my heart is so glued to what God said he will give. To what God said he will do. The other day, I was somewhere, one of the wealthiest men in that country happened to be around. And he said, Apostle, said, oh, Apostle is here. Can I see him? And I was busy they told me that the man is around. I said, I'm tired. They said, sir, you didn't hear the name we mentioned. So, so, so person. I said, of course, I've heard about him. He said, he's around. I said, I'm, I'm tired. I'm resting. I'm very, very tired. I have another session. But he wants to see you. I said, but I don't want to see him. I'm tired. I'm tired. Sir, did you hear the name we mentioned? I said, there is a name above every other name. I represent that name. Meeting that person, meeting that man, there is no way he won't carry a seed and say, I'm sowing to your life. But it, where I am, I know because of my connection to the word of God, I don't need to come out before seed meets me there. I am overwhelmed. That is why I will not bow to anybody. I am overwhelmed, too overwhelmed, that God shall supply all. If I need it, the supply will come. I'm too overwhelmed with it. I'm not hunting. You that get, you, you will come to the vigil. You will, seven hours you are praying. Eight hours you are praying. Life in the spirit you are fasting. You saw opportunities to make money wrongly. You, have, you, you, you turned your, your, your face. You saw opportunities to be rich wrongly. You turned your face. Now because, all of those covenants, you did that for Christ. Now because of marriage, you forgot all the sacrifices you have paid for Christ. The one young man who is not even ready to marry you anyway is making you violate the covenant you have made with God. Why are you hunting for what God has in abundance? Why you, Esau was, how can... Ayah. Do you see why? Hold on. Do you see how nasty Esau was? He said... Jacob was a man that dwelled in tents. He was always indoors. Can I shock you? When Isaac said, go and get me venison. Let me eat. Prepare meat, porridge for me. Let me eat. There was meat at home. There was abundance of meat at home. But it's already had a, a hunting mentality. Jacob just went from the house. Brought one. Esau still ran outside again. The haunting spirit has entered. Uh, there are students, even if they give them, the school decides to give them the answer sheet, they will still carry something in their pocket. It, is, it has entered them. I was watching something on my phone during the week. All these skit makers are funny. I saw a skit. A man and a woman were on the bed. And the woman shouted, My husband is around, my husband is around. The, the guy jumped and ran under the wardrobe. The woman jumped and ran. Only for they remember that they were both husband and wife. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. The man jumped and hid himself. The woman said, Ran. Later, the woman stop. Oh, you're my husband. He said, oh. <laughs> Cheating has entered their blood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He has entered their blood that they ran to hide before they now remember that they were married. What a generation. Somebody... Some of you, 
you don't know why I don't baptize people myself. Pastor Luis Arnold does that. Because there are some people on baptism day, I almost slap somebody. So I have to control my temperament. They were baptizing a guy. You know this pipe, this pipe, they smoke. This, this, how they call it? This, eh? Pipe, not cigarette, this pipe, this one, elderly people smoke. I don't know. Whatever name. As they dip the guy in the water, myself and some, as we dip the guy, something came out of his pocket. When we brought it out, it was pipe. Baptism day. So we baptize him and baptize the pipe. I was, I had rolled up my trousers. I was at the middle of the, of the river. So we saw it. We held it. We brought him out. So what he said, ah, no verse. What happened? He said, as, as with the call river, I said, make I take the last one. I almost, I was angry. I said, you carry pipe, come, baptize him. Now the last one, I won't take her back. I turned to those by me, I said, I'm too angry. Come, come. When I was leaving, I said, this is the last day. <laughs> because I'm not sure how the temperament would... There are people that, they, some people steal what they don't need. I'm telling you, it has seen has entered their, their components. How can somebody steal one, one leg of shoe? One leg. No, to do what with it? It's a part of them. So Isaac said, get me venison. Go, go and prepare something. Go to the kitchen. Esau still went outside to God. Say, this one, this one, mm -mm, this guy. There was abundance of animals to be slaughtered at home. Esau still went outside. Divine rejection. That is what, how God feels. When he sees what he has promised you. What he has said in the kingdom. Once you are born again, has become your inheritance. You are going to the devil to scavenge. You are going to the devil to scout. Who can kill you? You are going to the devil for protection. You are going to the devil. Am I talking to somebody here? And there are people under the sound of my voice. It has become a lifestyle. Once they need anything, they have to sell their body to get it. Once they need anything, they have to cut corners. It's a hunting spirit. How many of you know hunters are captains of hide and seek? You know that? Hunters. They are very smart. In what? Yeah. That's what some of you are doing. Once you, you become a hunter, the spirit of hide and seek enters you. Very smart. Ah. You are watching. And God says there is abundance. There is abundance. There is abundance. There is abundance. A hunter depends on his skill for survival. A hunter depends on the field for survival. But Jacob depended in the capacity to stay with his mother. Aya. Jacob stayed back. No wonder said God said Jacob have I loved. Jacob stayed at home. For he that dwelleth in the secret place. Of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Why people are running around clubs and running around, around parties. <laughs> Someone decided to say, I'm going to stay back, stay back in God's presence. When we started carrying the Bible and following God, people mocked us. But what, what honor would I have seen in my life? That is more than the honor I see now. What honor? What honor? What honor that presidents of nations, mayors of counties will call you father. What honor. But when we started following this God and became addicted to church, we are called names. Stay in the tents. Don't be a hunter. Stay in the tents. It doesn't matter how they are comparing you. Your parents say, look at your friend. You are carrying Bible. Tell them I'm not a hunter. Not a hunter. Look at your friends. Look at your look at what they have. Look at the cars they have bought. You are not a hunter. 
God has promised you provision. He has promised you abundance. He has promised you surplus. Stay with him. Stay in the secret place. Stay. Stay, 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 stay. Stay. He was a hunter. He was a hunter. Number two, he says he, he was in the open country. He was a man of the open country. He never stayed at home. So Esau never understood the power of the secret place. But Jacob dwelt in tents. The power of the secret place. When you stay away from God, things run away from you. When you stay away from God, things run away from you. Not to be released to God is to be released to the worst. So when you see people come to the house of God, you think, sir, the reform of highness is to be connected to the most high. The reform of highness The reform of intoxication is to be intoxicated to speak in tongues. When alcohol is your influence, you end in the gutter. But when speaking in tongues is your passion, you stand before kings. Every drunkard has a destination, the gutter. drunker. For every smoker, you have a mentor. He's not alive anymore. He ended up wearing pants. He was a guru. and He was, he was a philosophical man. Very deep man. But he was a mentor. So when smoking is your passion, pant is your future. <laughs> wearing pants. We are in publicly is your future. And there are people today, today, today. And not, you see, when we talk about being in the secret place, is it has three branches. Number one, the secret place of prayer. Everybody must have an indwelling place in your room, in your house, which is your prayer altar. You must have a place indoors. You must be a person that knows how to go indoors and call upon God. You must know God indoors. Matthew 6, 6, I think. He said, thy father which is in secret shall reward thee openly. When thou prayers enter, prayers enter into thy closet and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret. Where is God? Where is God? Where is God? God is in secret and he shall reward, and sees in secret shall reward thee openly. The first element of divine presence is having a secret place life. The second is your connection to the house of God. Having a secret place life. Number two, your connection to the house of God. There are people, once they walk into church, something is, is carrying them out. There are people that have never sat down in church for three hours. Straight up. They will go out, they will come back. They will go out, they will come. For the flimsiest of reasons, the tiniest of excuse. Why? Because something is fighting their ability. And that time you are stepping out is when your Rema word comes. That's your Kairos moment. That is where a revelation that would have changed your life hits. There are people, we've seen that over time. It's when God mentions their name, they say they went to pee. They went to pee. Some people, that's when they are sleeping inside the service. Why? Because something. Jesus, Luke chapter 4 verse 16, was a committed church member. Don't let people lie to you that it's not, it's not going to church. It is, it's not going to church, it's his heart. Who are you going to listen to? The word of God. He came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. It was a, Jesus saw going to the physical place of worship as a tradition. And as a Christian, you are following Jesus. 
You think Jesus, who was God on earth, could not stay at home? What does Jesus need anybody to teach him? You don't teach chemistry, chemistry. You don't take chemistry to sit down. Or you tell Isaac Newton to sit down in a physics class. Are you what I'm talking about? But he was God. Yet he sat down. Because he was a model to tell us that you can't say you are a child of God that sits at home. Hebrews, 11, Hebrews 10, 25. Hebrews 10, 25. Hebrews 10, forsaken. He said, not forsaken. The assembly of ourselves together as the manner of some is. Not forsaken. Not forsaken. Number three. The third element of the presence is your connectivity and loyalty to the family of God. Whether you are inside the church or outside the church, you are loyal to your brother and sister in faith. Whether you are inside the church, outside the church, you are loyal. A fellow church member is not just a church member, it's a brother. A fellow church sister is not just a church sister, she's a sister. Your loyalty to the body of Christ. 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 When you are loyal, it's a crime for the church to be attacked. And you as a member of the church, you open your mouth and join those attacking the church. It's a shame. It's like they are throwing your family under the bus and you join those attacking your family. It's a shame. There are many of you, you have sisters you are not proud of. True of us. Talk to me, true of us. Some of you have brothers you are not proud of. True of us. But you join outsiders to fight them. The guy fought somebody, injured the person, and they are, he said, leave him, he's my brother. You join him to fight. When you get home, you face him. That's the dynamics of raising, raising family. But today, when the church, when somebody, you don't do that. In, this is not our culture. It's not our tradition in the body of Christ. How many people today came to church, the house of God, with bruises? Just bruises. But now they've left the church with scars. Because we are in a generation where people enter the church and they can't find safety. In fact, some people left church before they had peace. Some people left the house of God. That is not what God expects of us. He was a man of the upper. Something took him. Look at the prodigal son. The prodigal son looked at his father and told the father to his face, give me the portion that followed to me. He was a young boy. Something was pushing him out. The story of the prodigal son tells us the disadvantage of staying far from God. It tells us the negative effect of being estranged and disconnected from your source of life. The prodigal son was in a hurry to leave God's presence. Was in a hurry to disconnect from his father. Was in a hurry. Was in a hurry. Was it, something was pulling him out. We don't talk like this. Yeah, if not church, I know what I would have become. You would have become nothing. 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 You would have become nothing. If not this church, church, I know we are for day. You for day know where. Some young ladies say, if not church, eh, <laughs> what I would have done. If not the fear of God. <laughs> the fear of God is actually what gave your life color. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain. Can I explain? As a young man, you enjoy some level of honor. Or as a young lady, you are in the church as a protocol worker, as an ordained minister, you are not married, as a choir member, as an usher. Because of your love and fear for God, you have all kinds of men who want your attention. So you now think that they want your attention because of your humanity. No, it's because of that thing that's covering you. If you're in the world, you won't get this kind of attention because nothing covers you. 
But there's a glory that they have seen that is pulling them to you. And when they can truncate that glory, they are done. They take a walk. I don't know if somebody's following me. Yes. 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 The prodigal son, he took all his money and squandered with his friends. No investment, squandered, wasted. Because success has many relatives, but failure is an orphan. When he was broke, everybody left him. People celebrate you when you have something that attracts them. True celebration is when you are nothing and people still stay around you. You must have virtues and qualities that even if you don't have money, you still keep people. You must have virtues and qualities that even if you don't have money, you don't have intelligence, you don't have anything, you can still keep people. When you are a lady, that all you market is beauty and your body. You are empty. You are just a, a, a container that will soon be discarded. There must be a quality that a person sees and he doesn't even see what is external. There must be an internal quality that is a compelling force. It's beyond being a graduate. It's beyond being a graduate as a man. There are many graduates that are jobless. But there are qualities people find in a person. They keep you as their worker. There are many graduates that are thieves. Many graduates that are liars. Many graduates that are very divisive. They can cause problems. But there are people that are graduates and they, have, they can think. They are creative. There is something about you. We had a leadership summit and my friend was teaching and was talking about he's into entrepreneurship and all. He went into a Google company one time where they made the iPhone and the rest. He was looking at different offices and he saw a particular office. There was a way they did the office. He was wondering. And he peeped and looked at the people there. They just stood on a spot and gazing towards the spot. He was wondering who are these people? They said these people are hired. Their own job is to think. Their own job is to meditate and perceive. We have prepared the iPhone 16, iPhone 15. They are to stay there for a week or two to perceive if it is time to release it to the market. Even if we have prepared it, we have done everything, they just sit down. They are not, that, they are, they are not demonic. Oh. They stay there to connect with the atmosphere. They just meditate. They say, wait. You know, if they are paying you to think, you must think well. Oh. They're not born you well not to think well. <laughs> so, the only stop, are you, are, you, are you seeing qualities? They are not talking. They are just thinking. Such people are people whose mind is free, not polluted. Since their mind is now their source of wealth, they guard it, they protect it, and they purge it. If you can allow your mind to float in spiritual matters, your mind will be healthy. If you refuse to allow all the junk into your mind, all the negative things, all the rubbish you watch online, all the things that are not your business, if you can sanctify your mind when you shut your eyes to meditate, it will be productive. But your mind is not productive because there are too many junks inside. As you close your eye, you remember a movie. As you close your eye, it's one horror film. As you close your eye, it's one thing you saw on Instagram. As you close your eye, all you are seeing is somebody doing something on TikTok, 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 TikTok. As you, because you have, your mind is, is, is full with so much business. Allow a passage, a free way. Allow your mind to be free. Allow your mind to be released. Allow your mind. Am I communicating now? Someone said to me, you are a strong man. I said, I know. You are courageous. I said, I know. He said, ah, you built. I said, first of all, my father was a soldier. My mother was a policewoman. So imagine the kind of combination of blood. 
All right? But let me tell you. All of those are not my strength. My strength is this. I guide my mind. You see all those things about me on social media? I don't read it. All those things they are saying about me, I don't watch it. That is how I'm able to stay, stay normal. Some of you are watching on my behalf. <laughs> me personally, I don't. I have sacked somebody in this church. I have sacked somebody for forwarding something to me. Papa, see what they are saying. And I said, what is your name? He told me. I fired him. So the people around me don't tell me such things. Even if they see it, they are not permitted to mention it. Are you what I'm talking about? That is how I'm able. You think I will see those things? Read them. And I'll be okay. Somebody say, you are not a human being. You are not a human being. You are a spirit. You are diabolic. You are demonic. And you know you are a human. Uh, you will go to his house. See, I'm coming to your house. <laughs> I know I will be saying the wrong things, the wrong things. I will be delivering. Somebody said to me, Apostle, they brought out a list of certain ladies they say you have been with. I said, oh, put it there. He said, it's one guy. I said, is his mother's name there? He said, no. I said, the list is not complete. <laughs> if his mother's name is not there, then the list is not complete. The guy said, ah, ah, papa. I said, you see why I said you should not be telling me all these things? <laughs> because I will say the thing that will give somebody, somebody depression. I'm from out you. You will talk, I'll keep quiet. No. My own talk, my own talk, eh? It's like, boom, boom. There are things that have happened in this country. People will call me, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. That's why I said, because you, you don't talk normal talk. So don't tell me anything. Don't tell me anything. So that is how to stay sane. So imagine you, you carry your phone. Snake swallowed money. You want to read it. Are you okay? Can snake, can snake swallow money? Rabbit swallowed 25 million. Eh? Make a check up. What are you checking in that kind of thing? So that thing, you, you, you check that thing now, your mind is polluted. An innocent rat that was walking around your house, you are suspecting it. You are so you put the push up. It don't swallow. It don't swallow. It don't swallow. Because of the things. Guard your mind. You are going through your phone. There are suggestions. You know them, right? When is not what you are looking for, wipe it. Go online, check the things that matter to your destiny. Why some people are surfing the net, some other people are studying the encoding. Some other people are making money. The same data you buy to check gossip, somebody buy that, data, buy that same data to make money. With all the stories you have heard about life, how one man went to carry one woman from the husband's house. And because the husband doesn't have money, he has money. They will pen the story and make somebody a victim. Say, hey, yeah, this world now, wow. That's how you go from that story. That's the truth. You are right. It happened to me. Somebody sent me a video of a snake coming out of the toilet. You remember that period? Sir. Every time, whether you agree or not, some of it happened to you. If you are using the toilet, you are looking. <laughs> Did it happen to some of you? Uh -huh. As you release more, you go dress. <laughs> you release. <laughs> you, you, you see, the, you release another, you are checking. You are there, you are saying, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the, <laughs> you carry disinfectants against snakes and put in all the toilets. Yeah. Why? Because of your mind. Keep your heart. Proverbs 4.23 For out of it Jesus didn't say let not your legs or your head or your hand let not your heart be troubled. Number three and I'll pray. Are you getting something at all? Esau! 
have I hated? Divine rejection. Genesis 35, 20, 25 and verse 32. Genesis 25, the third reason why God rejected and hated Esau. Genesis 25, 32. Esau said, Behold, I'm at the point to die. What profit shall this bed try do to me? Esau was hungry. Hungry. And met his brother. And the brother was preparing red pottage. Very red. Excess tomatoes and plenty oil. And when he looked at it, the brother said, I'm hungry. He said, okay, before I give you, give me your birthright. Is that how they give birthright? A wise person will know that that statement is a deep one. He didn't say, you will pay me later. Give me your birthright. He doesn't say, what is birthright? Carry. The third reason why God frowned at Esau was Esau treated spiritual matters with levity. Sp treating spiritual matters with recklessness. Give me your better. What is better? Carry better. Right. What is better? Right? Carry better. Right. What is better? Right? You are a young man. You walk into the midst of your friends and they are all taking weed. They said, I, 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 I'm a Christian. What it be? Take. And that's how you took it. All your covenant gone. All your principles gone. You drew one. <sighs> you give them back. So all your months and weeks of fire night, prayer, life in the spirit, all in one minute, you sold it out. Strictly spiritual matters. I have seen people in the other religion. They are fasting. You can't tempt them. You cannot tempt them. I've seen men in the world of business. They are talking. You bring alcohol before them. They push it aside. They don't just, um, they will push it, take this thing from, from me. So I say, I don't drink. He said, but it's not for you. He said, don't put it in front of me. I don't drink. But there are Christians, they will put that thing there, they'll keep quiet. So they snapped a picture of you and there was a bottle of alcohol in front of you. You don't drink, but it was there. But you were too, you were trying to be correct. You couldn't open your mouth to tell them, take this thing from me, I don't take it. I don't take it. Spiritual matters should be handled with care. Spiritual matters are fragile matters. What is the better right to me? Esau was hungry. He threw away his seniority because of a temporal situation. Don't take permanent decisions on temporal situations. Don't take permanent decisions on temporal situations. Don't downplay covenant principles. Don't downplay covenant principles. It destroys glorious destinies. Don't downplay covenant principles. It destroys glorious destinies. Don't downplay. Don't let somebody talk down your work with God. Don't let someone make you feel you are, you are wasting time being connected to, to God. Downplaying spiritual principles. Rubbishing your covenant, your tenets of faith. It's never new. All he needed was to go through that phase of hunger. Can I tell you something? Hunters are, are hardly hungry. Because they always have what to eat. A wise Esau would have known. That is a matter of time. Hunger is a phase. Am I communicating here? But Esau said, I want to die. Sir, before you get, before hunger kills you, it will take days. Hunger cannot kill you in a few hours. You have not eaten in the morning, so you die in the afternoon. Those young that kill you, you know what killed you. You have not eaten in the morning, so you die. There are some things that you sold your spiritual bed right for. Only patience would have brought you out of it. Some things that if you were patient, you would have come out of it. But you sold your bed right. I told us a story about some students who were writing an examination, a WIAC exam, and there were three days left for the expiration of the date. A young girl who was a believer had not paid, so a, a teacher met her and said, come and see me. 
she went to the staff office and the teacher said uh, how old are you the girl said she was 16 and he said come to my house the girl said to do what he said, are you a child don't you know what to do in the house the girl said no sir no i've not done it before i'm, I'm born again the man laughed brought out money he said this is money for your enrollment if you agree to do it with me i'll give you the money the girl said i'm a christian my mother is a christian i won't she left two days more our friends were pressuring her. You'd have collected this money and done this thing. See now, you are not writing for the exam. The girl was crying. Just a day left before it expired. She went to the man's place. She was a virgin. The man messed her up. Gave her money. She went. The very day they were to announce those who have not paid, the, the proprietor of the school walked in. That the school had decided because of the performance of five students to enroll for them. When they called the name, she was number one. Money was in her hand to pay. She had messed up herself. Few months later, her body system changed. She was telling her friends, she doesn't know what's going on. She was falling sick. They went to do a pregnancy test, she wasn't pregnant. They did another test on her blood, she was HIV positive. What a little patience would have sorted peer pressure. There are people that will say that even if the exam will go, let it go. You are treating you are, that thing that you are doing for God. That life you are living for God. That thing you are doing for God that you have no value for has a prized destiny. There's a tag attached to it. Am I talking to somebody here? I just preach the gospel here. I just preach. I just do what I think is right. I don't even think I'm, 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 I'm doing the best. I just preach. My own preach. I tell people, you, you don't have to pay money to, 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 to get prophecy. I see all those things in us. I didn't know people were watching me. Observing me. There are people I have met. Big people. This is not your prophecy that attracted us. It's your sincerity. You say you are stubborn or you are very stubborn. But you saw a sincere person who is not out to rip off people. You are not out to milk people. You are not out to take people's money. I say, ah. I say, but I'm, I'm not supposed to. They say, you don't understand. We have seen things. We have seen things. Just live a good life. There is somebody watching you. You are not aware. Just be a kind person. There is somebody up in those days, there are mothers that will suggest ladies for their sons. They are watching them. They are observing them. Just in that office, do the right thing. There is somebody taking note. Refuse to join people to steal. There is somebody observing you. Even among the thieves, there is honor. You, you have not heard of it before, that there is honor among thieves. There are thieves and there are thieves. We had that testimony now. There was a set of thieves that stole. Then thieves came to thief a thief. <laughs> there is somebody observe. Your, 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 your pride is your work with God. Your pride as a believer is your work with God. It's not your expertise. It's not your academic qualification. It's the character that has been formed by your reason of covenant principles. There is a, a, a lifestyle that has been configured and which I'm talking to somebody right now. Hunger. Hunger. What distress great men are small things. Hunger. Hunger. Anything too cheap is not free. If it's too good to be true, it's not true. Anything you see that's too good, it's too easy. Look again. You have never seen 10,000 in your life. And somebody's ready to give you 200,000. All I want to do is to see you. And you are screaming that it's a breakthrough. That's not a breakthrough. That's a beautiful cage. What did I say? A, it's a cage, but it is a, it is a beautified 
cage. No matter the metal that makes up the cage of a dog, the dog is still restricted. Yeah. That quality, that character that has been formed and configured by your work with God is your prized possession. Hear me and hear me well. God hated, I'll continue next service. God hated the ways of Esau. Because Esau treated spiritual man, your birthright for porridge. Your purity for house rent. Your work with God just to meet a need. Spiritual matters. Do you know there's something called it doesn't matter? Spirit of it doesn't matter. In it doesn't matter, there are a dozen matters. In it doesn't matter, there are a dozen matters. The spirit of it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Who is righteous? Who is righteous? Who is pure? Even the Pope, the Pope, the Pope, the Pope. Who is pure? There are people that the enemy makes them justify. I'm speaking to you today. Any, any virtue you've traded on the altar of carelessness, like a dasico, laxity, any virtue that has left you on the altar of carelessness, today I ask for restoration. I ask for restoration. I ask for restoration. Be upstanding. I want to pray for you. We are going to take two prayers now. He was hunting for what God has provided. My God, my father, while I stray far from my home, all I from say, oh, teach me from my heart to say that we be done. That will be That will be done. Teach me from my heart to say, Thou will be done. Keep me true, Lord Jesus. Keep me true. Keep me true. Lord Jesus, keep me true. There is a race that I must, that a victory to be won. Victory to be won. Give me power. Give me every hour to be true. There is a race, there is a race that I must run. There are victory to be won. There are victory to be won. Give me the power. Every hour. To be true. There is a race, there is a race. I must run.
are going to pray against the spirit of carnality. Materialism. What is carnality? Carnality is anything that slows or quenches your love for God. Carnality. Carnality is the spirit of worldliness. All your discussion, if it's not fashion, if it's not movie, nothing godly. How can you be in the car? You are traveling to Ibadan, traveling to Benin, traveling to Lokoja with somebody five hours. Nothing like gospel. Are you in the economy of the country in Abuja, in Abuja? In the election, this is a believer. The person talk, talk, talk. Three hours. No gospel. From your mouth. Canality. This thing you are seeing now, this start today, or this, this manifestation of God, is not yet, it's not uh, overnight. It's years of identifying with God. There was a time, sir, in this town, if I go to the park, they don't let me enter a car. I'm entering. They say, hey, no, 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 Pastor, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I say, but I did go be no, we're not the carry, we're not the carry. I say, but I did so that you could disturb us from Poly Gate, go reach New Bini. I said, but he never fool. He don't fool. Calm down. I'll be outside. I said, ah, I don't know what I do. One day I went on the road. As I was stopping the car, the man was about to carry me. Another driver came over, took him. No carry him, oh. you know, go hear what? No carry him, oh. The man said, what do you do? He said, say, enter. You, you have your money. I say, yes. Enter. You go pay. Say, yes. See, the way everybody, the same cannot carry. Pay me. Pay me first. So I paid him. I paid him. I have not moved. I started preaching. I was preaching. I was preaching. It was quiet. I'm sure I was thinking I will soon end. He doesn't know me. I end when we had the journey end. That's where I end. <laughs> I was preaching. I was preaching. I get getting the echo. I just... See from Ekpom from Awuchi to Ekpoma, I like 100 naira. See your balance, come down. <laughs> I said, Wait, you're preaching, not the finish. I said, No, I was dropped on the road. I had extra money, <laughs> they carried me again. The next vehicle, I continued the preaching. Somebody must hear this preaching. And God, I said, No, you deserve not to be on the road. Take car. No. People will hear you. I mean, it's a known thing. Those I see some of the drivers now, and I, we see each other, we are laughing. You see, and, and you be this. I for the carry you that time. Oh. <laughs> ah. It's over time of identifying with God. Nothing should kill your faith. I reject. The spirit of carnality in my life. Anything I'm contending my love for God, I reject, I reject, I reject. Anything contending my love for God, I reject the spirit of carnality in my life. I reject. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. As, I as I begin to pray, I reject. The spirit of carnality in my life. Open your mouth and fire your prayers.
For his presence. Passion, hunger, hunger. The more I spend time with you, the more I want to spend time. Passion. Passion. Ah. Where are the youths? Where are the youths? Where are the teenagers? Where are the youths? There were days we are indoors for five days. We will not see the sun. What's happening to this generation? Five days, we won't see the sun. There are times we enter into God's presence on a Tuesday. We are out the next week Tuesday. That's when we came out to see how people are. Two days, three days, those were normal. Entering to the closet for three days, it was a normal experience, normal. I remember one time I went to went somewhere to go and pray. I was there for nine days. I came back. Everybody, I'm not seeing some people. Anyone that shook my hand fell down. Anyone that hugged me fell down. Anyone I embraced fell down. It was as I came into Brentra when everybody was down. I had to go back to pray. Father, reduce this thing. Please, sir. So that I can talk to people. We are not. We are, not, we are not going to the presence because we wanted power. We are just enjoying there. 12 hours, 14 hours. We finish, we study. We study, we sleep. We wake up, we study. We study, we pray. You come out after nine days and your whole atmosphere is lightning and thunder. One of such meetings, I came down to minister in the church in Jetu. Every but not one, plus pastor, plus this, every, everybody. People went down. The chairs started going down. It was a wind. Boo, literally, you, you, could, you could feel it move your clothes. Wind. Brrr, you could see people's clothes. The wind moving their clothes. And I was begging the people, say, hold the pillar. I don't want anybody to be on the ground. Hold the pillar. Hold it. From pillar. The whole <laughs> from road everywhere you knew this were happening. We are preaching. Where's it? We are preaching. Was it Tanzania? Tanzania. The power of God hit the place. They were rushing students. There was a school, maybe across the road. They were rushing students with uniform far away into the venue. 
it was a Muslim school. They were carrying students, rushing them. What happened? They were in their classrooms. But we are preaching power. They didn't know what was going on. The teacher just saw everybody falling down in the class. On the floor. The next the teacher's back hits the wall. The teacher landed. They had to start investigating. And they traced the place and saw a hall. People were on the ground. They said, okay, what is happening here? It looks like that one. So they went there and started bringing people. We saw them rushing, rushing with uniform, rushing students. What happened to the youths? On the phone, chatting, chatting. See the distraction now? And that's why I teach my biological children every day. You can never be young twice. Maximize this opportunity. So that when you become a mother and a father, you can look back to your days of youth and you can say, I spent it on fire. Passion for his presence. Katayata. Hey. 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 I can tell you experiences. Uh, I can tell you passion. Passion. Who is ready to pray? Drive me into your presence. Give me passion to stay there. Drive me into your presence. Give me passion to stay there. Drive me into your presence. Give me passion to say, My father, my father. In the, of Jesus, in the name of Jesus as I begin to pray drive me into your presence give me passion to stay there open your mouth and fire prayers Thank <laughs> you. 
In Jesus' name. And your name is Alpha. You are Omega. I the mention of your name. Every knee must bow. I the mention of your name. Every tongue confess. You are the covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. And your name is Alpha. You are Omega. At the mention of your name, every knee must bow. At the mention of your name, every tongue confess. You are the covenant keeping God. There is covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. I am that I am. I am that I am. I say, no keeping God. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. I am that I am. I am that I am. There is no one. Your name is Alpha Omega Omega Ageless Ageless Changeless Changeless I call you Almighty Almighty Jehovah Jehovah Glorious God today that will not be rejected by you we reject the haunting spirit that will not keep scavenging for things you've already provided I'm praying for passion for your presence the grace to treat spiritual matters with caution and care with reference it deserves May this message be a blessing to our lives as we apply them for our next level. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. Take your seat. All heavens declare the glory of the risen Lamb. Who can compare with the beauty of the Lord? Forever you will be The Lamb upon the throne I gladly bow my knees oh, oh, oh. To worship you alone Forever you will be Forever he will be You are the lamb upon the throne I gladly by my knee Jesus and worship you. I love you, Jesus. I love you. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I praise you. I praise you. Oh Lord, I praise you, I praise you, oh Lord. in my life, Lord, I see what you are doing one more time. I lift my voice in praise of your name. I lift my voice in praise of your name. Holy Spirit, we see, we love you, we praise your holy name. Praise your name. Thank you, Father. Let my life become an altar. Take me to the altar till I become an altar. Your secret place. That's what I want to be. I receive that grace, that passion. Holy Ghost, make me a raw material. Refine me. To be used for your beauty Just for you And for you Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Make me a raw material Refine me To be used for your beauty Just for you And for you Holy Ghost This is my heart's cry, Holy Ghost. Hear my heart cry, Holy Ghost. Just for you to be more like you is all I pray. This is my heart's cry, Holy Ghost. Hear my heart cry, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, make me 
for ministry and this church is not just for what God will do in your life, is to teach you how to follow him. Because you need to know more about this God. You need to know about him. So that your life begins to increase in your knowledge of God. When you know about him, the very things that appeared as a need will become met naturally. This is my heart cry, Holy Ghost. Hear my heart cry, Holy Ghost, just for you to be more like you, is all I pray. This is my heart cry, Holy Ghost, hear my heart cry, Holy Ghost, just for you to be more like you, is all I just for you to be more like you is all I need. Just for you to be more like you is all I need. On my knees, daily will I pray from my heart. Jesus, that's for you to be more like you. It's all I pray. Oh Lord, on my knees, they will pray. From my heart, they will pray. To be more like you, to be more like you, Holy Ghost. Just like you, Holy Ghost. Ziba ya da bo sha la da 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 da. Cheke le ba da da ba da da. Oh 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 oh. name we worship. Amen. Clap your hands and sit down. There's someone, please listen to me. There's a wedding that is being prepared for that I saw your sister her name is Naomi. They are preparing for a wedding. This month. I'm talking of this month. Is it you? This month. This is between 26 and 20. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The counsel of the wicked is frustrated. In the name of Jesus. I, I, I see in the spirit realm what the enemy meant for evil, God turned it around for good. And it's not just your sister, please. Your family, tell them that I said they need to come together. 
Take a day to fast and pray. Are you following me? Manipulations. Rhoda. My name is Rhoda. Roland. That's my father's name. Roland. Yes, sir. He's late. Please, they have to pray. They have to pray. You. I know I'm talking about your sister, but even you pray. Yes, sir. Because. I saw you teaching inside the classroom. Yes, sir. I'm a teacher. You are teaching now? Yes, sir. No, it's not now. You are teaching now. You were teaching before you started teaching now again. Yes, sir. Yes, there was sir. a place you were teaching. Yes, sir. Yes. The place you were teaching before is almost better than where you are now. I thought when it comes to money. Yes, but sir. let me explain what I mean to you. On your own, you left. Yes, sir. Not that they, threw, they drove you. No, no, no. Something just came on you. You left. Yes, sir. You left before you realized that you have left. Yes, sir. You don't know why you left. Yes, sir. So you are somewhere now. Let me pray with you. Who is Amos? My eldest brother. Huh? My eldest brother. Who is Ruth? My elder sister. Stand up. Please. Now, there are decisions you take, eh? You think you know what you are doing. You don't know what you are doing. Yes, yes, yes. One of the strengths of manipulation is to make you think you are right. It's like false teachers. You know what they call false teachers? People that twist the Bible. They must first know the Bible. False teachers are very good with scriptures. They can quote scriptures. They can quote scriptures. But how you know false teachers is that four things. Number one, they downplay supernatural power. See what is what is miracle. I leave that. They down, that's how you, you catch them. Number two, they use scriptures to fight. Scripture to them is like weapon. Number three, they always find fault in what people say. I'm giving you their qualities. The first is that they downplay supernatural. If you tell them that, that miracle, say, which miracle? It doesn't exist. Yeah, that's how you catch them. So if they can convince you, they will quote plenty, plenty scripture to prove a point. You cannot be a false teacher if you are not conversant with scripture. You must be very conversant. But they will downplay supernatural. When you tell them that miracle money, they say, what, what, what miracle money? Is God's central bank? Yes. Well, is God's central bank? How can he print money? Is God road safety? But it delivers people from accident. Is God the pilot? But it delivers people from plane crash. With God, all things are possible. They downplay supernatural. They are very logical. And they attack. By the time you say one thing, they will, they will come out to, uh, to tell you that you are wrong. That's how you catch them. Because true knowledge of the word of God accommodates. It's not puffed up. It accommodates. That's when you have the virtues of the spirit. This is what the balance is. We know this thing. You don't know nothing. All right? So, those are how you catch them. Attack. Everybody's wrong. H O D. Spiritual matters. This thing is real. Spirit husband is real. Oh. Spirit husband is real. I was in a place eh, in a do state. They call it Oma East. They call it Otwa. Eh? I was there, I called out a lady. She will get pregnant. Pregnancy will get to nine months. As they are rushing her to the labor room, baby will disappear. When the matron check her, her body has expelled a baby. You know what I'm talking about. Her parts, everything is open like somebody who has given birth. But where is the child? Yeah. Now they're using your common sense. Leave spiritual matters alone. Her body, it showed it has expelled the baby. Where is the baby? Nine times. Then prophecy picked her. She was already pregnant. So she, she knew it was going to happen again. I said, not this one. You will give birth to this one. You will carry the child. As I was talking, you were just looking at me. Your husband was crying. Now, it takes a lot of faith 
It happened one. You got pregnant again. Twice. Thrice. Four. It takes faith and hope to believe that it must happen. I am my child. And God brought the baby in her hand. Then you now tell me that spiritual... Leave it. It's not real. What I've seen. You see, experience eh, is stronger than argument. Experience. What you have experienced. What you have experienced like this. You don't argue. You just be looking at people who are talking. Because it has happened. How do you explain somebody went for visa interview? He got to his stone, he was sleeping. If you sleep, they wake you. You know, go poor eye. They beat him, they pour water. <laughs> then they drag him. <laughs> is that sleep? You now tell me that this thing is not now not a sleep. Sleep? They pour water for a person, he no wake up. They beat him, he no wake up. Now sleep with that one. I mean, guy was gone. They shook him as they left him, collapsed on the ground, and packed himself. By the time his eyes open, people have left. They have, they have closed. They just carried him and dropped him outside. The one person said, don't worry. That thing that, that, thing that happened to him, he said, um, he, said um, he was tired. Huh? Huh? Sir, there was a power that seized him. When things are happening, don't try to downplay them that they are not real. There is something called spiritual world. Don't try to downplay them. Don't downplay them that they don't exist. They, they are real. But our, our, our leverage is that God in us is bigger than them. That's the difference. But to say that they are not real is, is, is deception. I pray for somebody. We are praying doing deliverance. Come out, come out. Somebody was screaming. Brrr, something left. And a car that nobody was driving was moving. I saw car moving. Car, they move. You're not telling me it's not real. A native doctor that lived near my mother's house. I was doing town cry. The man came out and was insulting me. I insulted him too. Brethren were holding him back. Insult me, I insult him. Insult me, I insult him. And I was holding a bottle of Coke, Coca-Cola in my hand. His boys took it from me. He touched it with his ring. Before my eye, it changed color. I mean, this thing is black. Before my eye, it turned to orange color. He said, if you know that your Jesus is powerful, drink it. I dropped my megaphone. You know megaphone, this one day. I dropped it, used my teeth. Uh, I spoke in tongues. And I drank it. I drank it and I stood. He started laughing. And spoke in Bini dialect that in five minutes my stomach could be swollen. I was looking at him. I was speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues. After five minutes, he said, ten minutes, they should watch me. I was looking at him. After 10 minutes, he said, who knows my house? They should go and check my house. This night, what do we have? I say, ooh, you have no power. <laughs> but, sir, did he change color? He changed color. I saw it change. Then one person will come and tell me, those things are not real. Okay, now. Okay, now. Okay, now. There's something called, have you not seen people who are malams? They do things with Quran. You have not seen them? That you are telling me that this is that. They will do it. They will do Yasi. They will read Karatu Arabic. Somebody run mad. Eh? In those days, when we were schooling, young boys will carry a ring. If they slap you, start eating grass. Grass, grass. Like Ram. Oh, 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 oh. Use your teeth to cut grass. There's diabolic and there's supernatural power. Jesus walked on water. It's real. Fed 5,000 men. Five loaves of bread, two fishes. Real. Turn water to wine. Real. There is power in Christ. Come on, let somebody tell you that these things are not. You, I don't like you. You are looking at me, oh. When you just turn, you're looking at me. If you look at me like that again, they'll throw you outside. Don't look at me like that. You're looking at me as if I'm owing you money. You know better say I talk and say I keep up of mind. I want to go to heaven. You know, anything that you do me, I'll just say it so I can have peace with my life. I've always been suspecting that eye. So 
And it's in my mind, so I have to say it now. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Sister, I decree the hand of God. Who is Rachel? Okpara. Is that your name? What's your name? Ma? Rachel Okpara, sir. Stand up, mommy. Stand up. Daily as I live. Mama, in the name of Jesus. Son of David, have mercy on her. Mommy, your whole body is on fire. Your whole body, your, especially your legs. There's a serious attack, but God is going to heal you. 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 He's going to heal you. Huh? My elder sister. She's your elder sister. Yes, sir. God is going to heal you. Do you know Ike Duru? Ike Duru, sir. Ike Duru. Ezeama Ike Duru, sir. Ezeama Ike Duru, sir. Is that where you come from? Yes, Is that your local sir. government? Yes, sir. I saw in the spirit realm. My mom, what I saw in the realm of the spirit, they put you inside the pot, and they are cooking you. They are cooking you. I'm seeing men already with spoon, knife, waiting. Mom, if they, your body now is like what they have cooked. Your leg. Exactly. If you press it like this, it will enter inside. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You press it, you enter inside. You yes, press sir. any part, you enter inside. Any yes, part, you enter inside. Sir. Physically speaking, anywhere you press, it will enter inside. Because they are cooking you. I see in the spirit realm. Is it you manage and you are managing? I saw a school. Secondary school, sir. Secondary. Yes, sir. But you cannot do well. Because you say you should stand. Now you can't you want to write, you want to stand, your hand is shaking, exactly. your eyes are shaking, your whole body you don't know what's going on. Yes, sir. And I see in the spirit realm. This is the family you married into. Eh? Yes, sir. The man, they killed him. They killed the man. Yes, sir. Not just him. They killed they kill everybody. <laughs> His brothers, they killed them. Yes, sir. Pray for your children, man. Pray for your children. Pray for them. See, you have a child. I see a child inside the field. Like he's playing football. Chibike. He's a footballer. Yes, sir. Who is Clinton? Clinton, the second son. Oh, God Who is Chidera? The first daughter. Who is Juliet? The last daughter. Mommy, do you want your children to be preserved? Yes, sir. You don't want? I want it, sir. You don't want? You don't want? I want it. Then why are you dragging property? Leave property. Leave property. Mama, leave property. Okay, sir. Because this property, you are ready to fight anywhere. You, is it true? It's true. You told yourself, this property, even if somebody will die, I'm ready. Eh? Yes, sir. You don't love your children, no? Listen. Listen. What is your own, eh? You see this thing? If it's your own, I do not want distractions. Mommy, this thing, eh, if it's your own, person collect them. When the thing don't burn them, you go bring them come back. There is a fight. You don't fight when you know what you have to lose. Do you know the reason I don't speak about government and the rest is because of you. Because of all of you. That's why I don't talk. Because I don't want them to insult you. I know if I blast, when you go online, they will start attacking you. So that is I don't do because of my children, biological and spiritual. I'll be quiet. Oh, Suleiman, Suleiman, why are you quiet? In fact, one of them said, they have paid Suleiman to keep quiet. And no talk. Because I want my spiritual children to have peace. 
not to wake up and see their father being dragged and dragged and dragged. But they my mind to do. When I see this happening, ah, I'm, I don't like it. I hate to see people suffering. I hate when there is some, when some people are getting richer and some people are getting poorer. I, I, have, I have hated it, but I can't do anything. Because when I look at my family, I say, no. So when you know what you have to lose, there are some things. Just let go. Mommy, every property that is your own, nobody can take it. Don't fight them. This man that died, God blessed him. He was a rich. When they say money, he had money. So they killed him, killed everyone that would have, would have helped you, that would have fought with you. People he took care of. People he supported. They killed them so that nobody can fight for you. Now they are now boiling you. Because you talk too much now, they say, okay, fine. Oh, you are dragging. They want to. Don't, don't let, don't. If they ask you again, just keep quiet. They want to take this, keep quiet. They want to do this, keep quiet. They want to do that, keep, don't talk. Don't talk. When is your own? Those property, will, 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 we are going to put fire on them. When is your own? Anybody that enter, fire burn them. Enter the house, fire burn them. Enter the cars, fire burn them. When you have a lot to lose, Wait. Who killed Goliath? Is it true? David killed Goliath. Right? David killed Goliath. Could Saul kill Goliath? But when Saul wanted to kill David, what did David do? Saul could not kill Goliath. David killed Goliath. But David ran from Saul. Because in, in Saul was David's throne. There are some battles avoid. It's not everything that comes to your mind that you say. Something just keep quiet. Maturity is ability to know so much, but keep quiet. Maturity is ability to have power, but don't use it. There are nations that have missiles, right? They have nuclear power. If they release it in 24 hours, the whole world, the whole world, this world will cease to exist. But can I tell you, even they, they will melt too. I don't know if you understand me. It will affect them too. So they control it because they have a lot to lose. Mommy, I want to pray for you, eh? Sit down. No, mommy, sit down, sit down. Mommy, see. This day I tell you, so make it not vex you. Make it not vex you, okay? Property. We meet them for this world. We go leave them. But human being, even when you don't, old, oh, well, well, you go meet God. Now, those are your children. Go see the state to make this world remember, say you be mama. So, one child is more than 10 buildings. Because the way they are going, in fact, they are even taking some already. They are, they are invading some. I will pray with you, ma. Are these your children? In the name of Jesus. Father, preserve them. Amen. Preserve them. Amen. Protect them. Amen. Preserve them. Amen. And I pray for your daughter. Be healed. Amen. I bring you out of everywhere that they have put your body. They have put your body. I bring you out by fire. Jesus name your time has come stand up lift your hands set him free pick him up this spirit that is not of Jesus out pick him up In the mighty name of Jesus every spirit that is not of God out Be free.
Okay, okay. Make a pray. May I pray? Let them be free. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Snake. Python. He bites you. I know the feet worker. They paralyze me. Python. Python for my bed. He enter your bed. Enter my bed. They bite. Python. Mama, you know to be Python. I, I know Python now. They bite me for here. You show the sign. I, I, they bite me since then. You, you, I you, see the, you see the Python. I don't see him. You make. That woman be make. Come on. Since then, Mama I Python. Me. Python make. <laughs> Sorry, Mama. Where, where, you, where you sit down? Make, make I follow you to your chair. You know, you know the few worker. Uh -uh. And you the worker go your chair. Mama, what did Mama they do? So no worker the worker so. Mama the python when when he come, the python which they come. Ma? Around two to nine in the night. Now he come. Since then I had to He come. Um, but you see him. I don't see for my eye, but I say blue, blue, blue. You don't see for your eye. I come for eye, Holy Ghost fire. He run come out. But what you call Holy Ghost fire? The part of run. Yes. But you don't see him. I don't see for eye, but Nahim, he buy. He show sign here. He show sign for your back. Yes, for my shoulder here. Since they did shoulder, I know if you carry my hand like this. You know if you carry your hand. Mm -mm. The but you, but you know, but you know, seen a python, but you know, see him. Uh, Nahim. But you Nahim. Do we make? Do we make guru 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 guru? Mama, not be python bite you. My mouth's attack. Mama said not python. <laughs> mama, you say, oh, mama, mama say, I said not be python. You say waiting. I say waiting. You come be now. You know, I know they cut this hand up since then. <laughs> mama, may I pray? Python. Let me Python. Let's pray. Mama, do you see, you see that woman? That woman, I mean, they talked to one woman just now. Eh? That woman, one that they talked to just now for outside. The same problem. The same problem. Now, him be this one. When you enter, when you marry, and enter family, why be say, the family is strong. Now, be the problem. Your husband, people. Your husband, people. Now you're not there. Don't be python. Now they come. The same complaint. Your husband complain. He die. I saw you see, we walk. We worry like this. They walk out with a walking stick. He die. And I saw they won't do me. He said, walk, 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 walk a stick. He die. And that's your husband, Abi. Yes. The same thing that happened to you now. So I they show you what him bite you. Not be python. Not them. Not those same people. So not be python. Relax. It will go back to sender. Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever the enemy has fired into our system, out! Be made whole. You are free. In Jesus' name. Stand up. I saw the hand of God upon you. And the Lord said, I should tell you that everything you've lost, you will recover them. So I should tell you, you are not abandoned. That everything you've lost, that is your season from the month of May, it shall be your season to begin to recover all. Your time has come. Who is, who is F.A.? Who is F.A.? It's your name, F.A. Come out. Please sit. There is a cage I see inside the cage. Come out. No, leave him. Let him come. What's the problem? Why do you say sorry? Shh. Pray for me. I cannot. Ex I cannot excrete and urinate. Is your father? Yes, daddy. Is your father? Yes, daddy. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. This is your father. What what number are you? 
I'm the only child. Only child. Yes, daddy. What is the problem with your mom? What is the quarrel? I have a dream. You came to me in my dream and told me that my mother is the one killing my children. Three children. So I told him. And he went to other shops and they confirmed me that yes, she's the witch killing my children. And he sent her out of the house. And as soon as that and happened? Since then she vowed that she will never let me rest. She's going to kill us. He said in the dream, oh. Yes, in the dream, sir, not uh -huh. For you say I see something. I will need to ask her, what is the problem with your mother? Please, oh. What, whatever you understand, you should understand. And don't wait, not be my mouth. And yes, say the blow whistle, bed fly. <laughs> sir, in the name of Jesus. So you, 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 have, you can't urinate and excrete. Yes, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus. So let me, don't worry, don't worry. We'll pray now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you say, let every power be subject to the higher power. Let him be free. Begin to urinate now. Begin to excrete life into your legs into your body. You are healed. Your miracle babies are released to you. You are protected. In Jesus name. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Go on. Go on. Get into the restroom. You know? Eh? Get into the restroom. They say he cannot wee, he cannot pee. Take him to the restroom. Let him go and do all of that. Who is Delphine? Delphine. Who is Delphine? Who is Delphine? Sabune, Sabune. What's your name? Delphine. Delphine. Sabunri Delphine. Huh? Sabunri Delphine. Clap your hands for the Lord. What's this? For what? What's, wait, now, what's this money for? You are sowing, oh God, you are sowing a seed. Stand up, let me pray for you. Lift your hands. I'm coming, ma. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, sir. One minute. Have you been here before? Yes, sir. You've been coming here? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. For how long? I don't come to, to this one, make a three times now. From okay. Here. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. You lie down on the bed, eh? You. You lie down the bed. Yes, sir. When it's night, you they look silly. You they look silly. Yes, sir. Your wife go open no oh, till daybreak. Yes, sir. When they break, when people don't, they wake up now. Then you won't sleep because your eye for night to sleep no problem. Yes. They go they fight you. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. It's going to end today. Yes, sir. Amen. Free in Jesus' name. Let him go out. Stand up. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Just sit him down. I'll, I'll come to where he is. Okay, don't bother to come. Me, I'll come and meet you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for your glory. Please, if you have a child, call a Fosa. Stand up. You have a child. Your name is Ruth. He has a child. <laughs> Lady, your eyes. These eyes need healing. Okay? And I want you to forget about the past. Whatever has happened in the past, let it go. Let it go. Because the future is of more value 
than the past. In life, when you meet a wrong person, they change your, your idea about life. It's a parable. What I'm saying to you is a parable. When you meet a wrong person, it is human being that changes how we see life. It's not life that is evil. It is people that are bad. I'm saying this because of a man that you met. And it was hell. It was hell. This yes, man, man you almost died. Yes, man of God. This man will beat you, kick you, stand on you. Yes, man of God. Beat you. In fact, yes, you still now, you are still feeling some pain. Yes, man of God. Because of the beating. And now if people are praying, oh Lord, settle me, give me my husband. You don't pray. Because you don't want. Yes, man of God. You have told yourself, not me. You yes, ran. Man of, God. man of God, very true. But I want to tell you, don't close that door. Don't close that door. Don't close that door. Don't close that door. Not for him, oh. That one is past. Look, I saw somebody. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm guessing you, man. Don't close that door. Come. God is going to make you happy again. Amen. Doesn't matter what anybody has done. Don't close the door. That you met a wrong person doesn't mean everyone is bad. God will heal you. Amen. And God says, I should tell you that something is going to happen that will take you to where he wants you to be. He's going to relocate you. Your time has come. I saw you inside a cage. God said, break the cage. Yes. Break the cage. And there's going to be Rachel. Rachel. My name is Rachel, sir. Rachel. Before you attend anywhere, Wedding ceremonies, birthday parties, graduation, anything that has to do with the celebration, please pray hard. Okay. In warfare, places of celebration are places where they easily throw attacks. In the coven, when they want to throw an attack on somebody, they wait for an, an event. Because witches hate to be suspected. They wait for an event. An event like that is when they throw things. Do you understand? I'm teaching you something. It's events. Because you will know. That's why Jesus was sensitive. Son of David. He said, who touched me? Now, that woman, you don't understand. When you are bleeding or you are filled with blood, the only person that can declare you clean is the high priest. And when you touch the high priest with that excess blood, you transfer that blood on the high priest. So originally, that woman, by touching Christ, it was supposed to be Christ that would start bleeding because he was the high priest. Jesus paused. Who touched me? Her intention was so that she would be okay. Doesn't matter where the infirmity goes to. Who touched me? Somebody died, and you say you should go and pay honor my to mother. that person. Eh? My mother. Your mother. Yes, you just go and pay honor to that person. Yes, sir. While you were there, they sent you arrow. I died. It was prayer that revived me. You what? I died in the process. You died there? Yes. It was prayer. And something left me after the prayer. Even, I listen, it. madam. Madam, listen. Even when they prayed and you came back, it's not everything that came back. Part of you is still on the ground. I'm surprised as I came in. I, the way I was able to, when the worship time, I was able to dance and all that. I can't. Doctor gave me instruction. No sitting down, no standing for a long time, no doing this. I'm a fashion designer. I can't function any longer. Doctor said no sitting down. No sitting down. No standing for a long time. If I don't sit down, don't stand, what do I do? Oh, my, my doctor. Jesus. Are you here alone? 
Drop that in and stand up. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Wait now. I don't want to talk on that matter. Can I pray? Calm down. Let me pray for you. Sing hallelujah. Stand up, you are in black. This guy, drop your, your devotional. Stand up. What do you do? You're a fashion designer. Yes, sir. Lift your hand. Are you a member here? Yes, sir. Are you a member? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Since when? Since um, December, December 2023. 2023? Yes, sir. So you're a new member here? Yes, sir. Are you in a department? No, sir. I never joined, sir. You never joined? Yes, sir. Why you? I have never joined. Why you never joined? Because of chance? Yes, sir. You don't get chance? Yes, sir. Hey, uh, no, sorry. Sir. Big man. You no get chance. Come out. Your handset. What happened? Who took your handset? I don't your know. Your phone. Sir. I left it in the store. Wait. Shh. Your handset. What happened to your handset? I left it in my shop. Then I went out to buy something. Before I come back, they have told You left it, it in your shop? Yes, sir. Before you come I, back? Yes, sir. What happened? They have told it. They have stolen it? Yes, sir. Yeah, I will pray for you, but not get chance. <laughs> Two of you come out. You not get chance for God, so God not get chance to. Pastor, what's the matter now? Papa, sir, the man, Papa, sir, the man you just prayed for just now, he said he has not urinated for one week. After you prayed for him, he went to the restroom and urinated <laughs> freely without, Clap without stopping. Clap your hands. You know, you people in this place, eh? You have seen so much miracles that when things happen, you just say, ah, we know. Clap for Jesus! <laughs> what? These people are terrible. Uh, so when the man was peeing, you went to video him. Let <laughs> me the, in the camera and the man was peeing. Don't, don't play it, oh. How you people are terrible. You fall and go to the toilet. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Sit down. Am I wasting time? Let's pray. Why, why are you the reason? Why are you raising your hand? You say you don't get chance, Abby. Eh? You are ready? Eh, no problem. Wait, 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 wait. I'm coming. You were bold to look at me and say you don't have chance. Uh, go and start serving God. We'll we pray for the phone later. I didn't say give up everything. Don't, I didn't say leave your tailoring. But to say you don't have chance for God. No. no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. So you want to see your phone. All this your uh, bend, your, it's so I can pray for your phone. All this your bend down, you are bending down. So. Because you... you calling of God upon my life, sir. See, see. Serve God, okay? Face God, serve God. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Face. <laughs> I saw the girl that took your phone. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. And she will bring it back. No worries. Right, Thank you, sir. You get your phone back. All right, sir. Serve God. Serve God. Shh, keep quiet. You want me to confirm the calling of God on your life? You got prophecy that God called you. Eh? Somebody prophesied that God called you. So you want to know if God really called you? Yes, sir. You that don't have chance for God, you want to know God, if God really called you. Start serving God. Join the department first. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. May the truth come out. Jesus' name. Young man, after two months of being faithful, ask me again about the call of God. Okay? Ask me. Be faithful first. And God does not just call people that don't have chance. Be faithful. I'm coming there. Mama, sit down now. Congratulations to you, both of you. 
the Lord God that visited Sarah, Hannah, Rebecca, give you a testimony. Your time has come. In the words of God, there is God. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Leave her, leave her, leave her. I decree the spirit of darkness today be free. Loose. Jesus name. I'm staying too much on this side. I want to change position. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, ah. Mama, mama, wait. Mama. Shh, stand up. Mama, stand up. Mama, stand. Sit down. Sit down. Mama, sit down. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to fight for her. Fight for our children. Fight for our children. Fight for our children. Jesus' name. Abou Shata Manderson. Look past my sin, my guilt. Sit down. Let me lay hands on you. Stand up. Where are you from? From Mimo State. Father, take this. Take this handkerchief. Place it on that boy. 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 What did I say? Place, where is the, the child? Place that handkerchief on that child. He's looking at me. Place it on that boy. The Lord said, give him an handkerchief to place on the boy. Lady on the black top, where are you from? Where are you from? From Enugu? Yes, sir. Have you been here before? Yes, sir, I've been coming. You have been coming? Yes, sir. I saw them carry you and I saw them put you on an oppression table and they said this oppression that they are going to open you and not the kidney the bladder, bladder yes, sir. and they are going to open the bladder yes, and they are going to bring out something an oppression as a medical report yes sir yes sir you have the medical report with you? Yes, sir. Yes, you have sir. it here? No, I do not have it, sir. But the, the doctor said I have stone in my gallbladder. Then I have a fat. You have stone where? In my gallbladder. In then your I, gallbladder? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I have fat in my... How? Your name is Hope? Yes, sir. I'm not joking, no. No, I don't, I don't take him serious. I don't take him serious. Is your name Hope? My name is Hope, sir. Yes, sir. Is Hope, sir? <laughs> Clap your hands for Jesus. There are about three or four of them. I don't take them serious at all. So that's when I saw him. I thought he's joking. <laughs> if they are not in the church, we will know. I saw God opening the door that will take you out of the nation. How is going to happen? It's going to be by divine intervention. But right now, I saw a dimension of God help upon you. Something's going to happen now that you are going to get an opening and get involved. Something like property. No property? Yes, sir. Property. 
there's going to be an opening for property to start subletting said property. Yes, sir. Like land, yes, sir. house, property, all those kind of business. And from there, God's going to connect you to a helper that will give a suggestion to take you out. And the doors are open. Jesus' name. The favor of God. You hear from me. Blessings. I'm coming there. Wait. Relax. I'm not in a hurry today. Relax. Sit down. No, don't do that. Wait. I speak. No, no, sit down. Sit down. You push it. Sit down. I speak the favor of God, the blessings, the protection of God. This is your bad eye. Wait till they look at me. I will, I will change your seat to you. will be sitting there again until you start looking at me well. I don't know whether you are looking. Adana. Be healed. Jesus' name. Adana. That's you. Bless the parashim unto me. Shasatima. Brakasatatarash. Holy Spirit of God. Kalasa Tabashe Brakata Tata Taradasa. My Lord Baradasa Damana Moshigaba. A woman, your child was sick. This is a normal. They gave the child the wrong injection. Wrong injection. Wrong injection. Now, the child, when he's walking, he's throwing the leg. One leg. He's throwing one leg. Wrong injection. God is going to perfect the health of that child. <laughs> Lady, that name is what is following you. That's what's happening to you. But God says, there's going to be peace in your life. There's going to be peace in your life. It's going to intervene in your life and it's going to end all your battles by his mercy. I saw you with clothes. Clothes. I was selling clothes before. It closed down. There's nothing. nothing. But God is going to restore you. In the name of Jesus. What is that? What's that paper? That what? So during the six months of the pregnancy, I was sent to a scan. So the scan said it's fibroid. And it has happened before. Madam, that report is a lie. Drop that report. Drop that report. There's something in your stomach. Put the mic. I saw you in my dream. You came to my dream and said that I shouldn't mind the, the report that I am pregnant. Oh, this thing I did now. You saw it in the dream. Yes, sir. Listen. Listen, let me tell you what's happening. There's something they buried in your tummy. There's something they put in your stomach. If a pregnancy enters in that stomach, 
The pregnancy will not be seen by any lab. Jesus. No, not Jesus. Lab. And if you go to the lab, that thing now will tell you there's fibroid inside your womb. Yes, daddy. This is one, two, three. Yes, huh? yes daddy. That it's pregnancy, they say fibroid. Pregnancy, they say fibroid. And if you make a mistake to want to operate it, thinking you are removing fibroid, you are removing a child. Jesus. No. I'm talking of... <laughs> so we are going to pray. And I'm telling you, it's not Jesus that did that thing. That's why I'm saying no. Jesus is good. Jesus does not do bad things. It's the, it's the devil that's that thing. When we are talking of positive things, you can shout Jesus. Not bad thing, you are shouting Jesus. Jesus does not make people's pregnancy turn to fibroid. Don't operate. Okay? This thing will deceive you. If you are medical personnel, I apologize to you, but this one will deceive you. God's counsel for you will stand. You will come back. You will come back here with your baby in your hand. The mighty name of Jesus. Life. Jesus' name. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. Hey, madam. Wait. What you are saying to me now is not your problem. You want to talk to me? Yes. You saw me and mama. Yes. According to what you are saying now. Yes. But that's you, no, eh? you gave me one baby and mama gave me another one. That's not the problem I want to talk to you about. Your temper. Your temper. Your temper. Your temper. Work on it. Okay, sir. Ah. Your temper is good though. I'm, I'm, not asking, I'm telling you what the Lord is showing me. You are me. right, sir. Temper is very good. God has brought good things your way, but your temper scatters it. You are a good person. That is just the problem. Your temper, just calm down, okay? Yes, sir. Your fruitfulness will be confirmed by the Lord. Amen. And there's a calling on your life. Yes, sir. I was a finished by that crying. A week to my holy man, Jesus appeared to me. Jesus appeared to me twice. He told me, God wants to use me. I'm a prophetess. Sorry. Come sit down here. Osha, Osha. Sit down. You were telling me something. Yes, I said, said I was a Jesus, Muslim. You were what? A Muslim. I those, of you that that. Said, those of you telling me to round up, can you give me five minutes? Where's Pastor Yari? Can I take five minutes more, please? I was a Muslim. They already sent me paper that my time is up. I was a Muslim. I finished by that. Quran. A week to do my holy man, Jesus appeared to me. That is how I converted to a Christian. The second time he appeared to me, he said, I'm a woman of God, I'm a prophet. That he will use me to, for all the nations. That he will use me to raise the dead, to heal the sick, and to deliver the oppressed. And uh, sometimes people that are looking for the fruits of the woman, I'll pray for them, they'll carry their baby, but I have not carried my own. <laughs> for seven years in marriage. <laughs> I used to have a fellowship, fellowship everything has scattered. Fellowship has scattered? Yes, scattered. Ah. My, my husband, my husband also is a pastor. You have given him prophecy before. I gave him prophecy before. Yes, my husband. Your husband? Says, yes, he called not to you. Point. His life you were, is very strong. You were not around? I was around there. That was 23, amazing grace. Okay, I give your husband a prophecy. Yes. Have I given you one like no, this? No, no, sir. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. Work on your temper, okay? I will. I will. Be fruitful. Jesus' name. Mama, you say you're not well. Sorry, sorry. You go well now. No worry, you go well. Wait. You go well. In Jesus' name. Mama, which did they do you eh? Now it's a market. Now they throw him. Yes, they sir. They throw the, the, the sickness. Yes, sir. It's a market. See, see, see something when you sell. See where they drop them. Oh. As you cross them, they enter your body. Yes, sir. Now this market for you. Yes, get this, to market. Get hey! To market. 
I'm not speaking. <laughs> don't mention any name. But right now, whatever God has not planted, ouch! Jesus' name. Father, this is a season of restoration. Listen to me, every one of you hearing my voice. I don't know what they have thrown to you. What they have fired to your life. That is making your life move in a direction you don't understand. You are free today. Right here you are, viewers all over the world. I decree, you are free today. You are free today. In the name of Jesus. Let the yoke be destroyed. 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 Be destroyed. Be destroyed. If you are sick, you are healed. You are, bound, you are loose. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless you this week. Amen. Cause his face to shine on you. Amen. Be gracious unto you. Amen. And give you peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands, everybody. Be upstanding. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Be free. Glorify your name in all the earth. Glorify your name and glorify your name. We will glorify your name. Stand up. with you where were you sitting now can i pray with you yes follow me i saw a man that is a preacher yes. look at me i saw a man that's a preacher yes sir my husband is this is the ugly can yes sir huh? yes sir your husband is a preacher yes a canon in anglican canon yes, in sir. anglican yes sir can i pray with you yes sir the, the power of God. Do you know Basi? That's my husband's name. Basi. Yes. The power of God is going to be mighty upon your life. Do, do you know somebody called Pleasant? That's my first son. And I see in the spirit realm today everything that the enemy has started will be stopped. Today you are sick, tomorrow you are well. Today you are sick, tomorrow you are well. Yes. Sir. Listen, there is something like a school. Yes. I just started. You, you, your own, new one. Yes, sir. A new school. Yes, sir. This is a school that I just, and there's light. Yes, sir. Because the thing is growing. Yes, sir. So because of that, somebody took your photo somewhere. Somebody who has a school took your photo that instead of your school to swallow up our own, let something happen to you. Let it backfire. Yeah. And now be healed. Take this off. Healed. Healed. Pick her up. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. Look at me. Look at me. Look at my neck. This way. Turn. 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 Faster. That's all. You are free. Hello, him, Madonna. Hello him Madonai Hello him Madonai Hello him Hello him Hello him Hello him Hello him Hello him Hello him
seen the move of God in our life and our ministry but I want you all to pray and keep praying for our program that comes up on the 21st to 23rd of May myself and Pastor Benny Hinn now listen it's going to be a great time pray for us and I'm going to tell you something later. I have, I have, and I'll tell you, there's um, a, 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 something that we're going to talk about. I'll tell you, but I don't want to talk about it on camera. So that you pray. The counsel of the enemies concerning the body of Christ will not stand. Don't wait. Don't feel that, oh, it's not me. It's not me. Anything that happened to your brother is you. That's what I'll tell you. If you happen to your brother, it's you, okay? So it's all right. So I'm believing God for a great, a great time in that place in America. Every week, every time as we are traveling, pray for the grace of God. It's the grace of God that we need for, for the outburst and salvation of souls. Amen. If today is your first Sunday of worshiping with us, can I see your right hand up? I'll need the camera to be working even after we go off live. Can you hear me? Even after we go off life, I need the cameras on. Today is your first Sunday of worshiping with us. Can I see? Yeah. Ushers, you know what to do. Lift those hands. Let me pray for you. Those of you just worshiping with us. First Sunday. In the name of Jesus, whatever your desire is, is granted. Whatever your needs are, be met. Your coming here today, may it produce the testimonies you've not seen in your life. Your time has come. In Jesus' name. Those of you that came from out of the country, you came from outside Nigeria, and you are going back. There's a special provision. You are to meet with me to lay hands on you. So, so Pastor Yari will tell you what to do, and I will lay hands on all of you before you go back to wherever you came from. Is that okay? Amen. If you came late, you've not dropped your tight, come and cast it now on my right hand side. All my partners, cast your seat on the bowl. Lift up your seat feet, everybody. Lift your seat feet, everybody. Lift it up. Oh, wow. I'm just being told some people are going for their youth service this week. Is it this week? Batch in stream 2. The Lord go with you. The Lord bless you. ND2 exams tomorrow. Success. In Jesus name. Evan Gate 2 House Fellowship members should wait after the close of service for a brief meeting at the protocol stand. Application for the post of a CCA history teacher, computer and data processing teacher, and physical health education are open at Dynamic British International School. Interested persons should submit handwritten application 
to the school located at Igara camp after the checkpoint. Amen. Hallelujah. Your seed faith is blessed in Jesus' name. Let's do that quickly. Don't step out. I have a word for you. Don't step out. Let's take our seed faith very fast. Marvelous God, you alone are worthy to be praised. You're the miracle in my life today. Marvelous God.
for serving me. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, no, no, Father. Shout hallelujah. The Lord bless you. And the Lord keep you. Cause his face to shine on you. And give you peace. In Jesus name. Now listen. Listen.